to welcome you all on today 330s milestone we are celebrating our 330 webinar not conferences as dr madan has guided me definitely it is rather conference instead of webinar that everybody is taking part actively i am really grateful to all experts on the dais of the dais and today i am glad that all pillars of ayush samriddhi are blessing us welcome welcome on behalf of independent research ethics society ayush samriddhi international conference series as well as international interdisciplinary institute for research education and skill i welcome you all and would like to request humbly request professor dr madan thangvelu sir to take the stage and lead us as a moderator welcome sir welcome pavan ji pranam pranam sir namaskar ji you have uh, welcome number one welcome everybody to our event today as pavan ji says in one of our discussions we decided to whether isko kya कहें इसको कॉन्फ्रेंस कहें या वेबिनार वेबिनार कहें या कुछ और कहें तो हमने सोचा इनकी वी शुड कॉल दिस अ कॉन्फ्रेंस क्योंकि इट इज ऑल द टॉपिक्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एंड पीपल आर जॉइनिंग इन लार्ज नंबर्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्लेसेस सो आई डिस्कस विद पवन जी एंड वी सेड वी शुड कॉल इट कॉन्फ्रेंस आई थिंक पवन जी एग्रीज ऑन दैट एंड ही वॉज क्विक टू चेंज इट टू कॉन्फ्रेंस अगर आज देखो तो हमारे साथ है आठ राज्यों से लोग हिंदुस्तान के और शांतला जी है हमारे साथ आज लैटविया से नमस्कार शांतला जी आवर आयुष प्रोफेसर इन रीगा इन लैटविया द सेकंड आयुष प्रोफेसर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर महापात्रा वॉज द अर्लियर प्रोफेसर दर और हरीश जी जुड़ेंगे कनाडा से और हम है यूके से तो तीन देशों से और आठ राज्यों से है हमारे साथ सो दिस इज राइटली अ कॉन्फ्रेंस सो टुडे पवन जी हैज ब्रॉट सो मेनी पीपल टुगेदर आज जो कमी जो दिखाई दे रहा पवन जी सिद्धा वाले है ही नहीं हमारे साथ योग वाले है ही नहीं होम्योपैथी वाले है ही नहीं तो डोंट इट डजेंट मैटर बट एटलीस्ट द इनिशिएटिव इज टेकन की द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू मॉडर्नाइज ऑल ऑफ दो आयुष सिद्धा वाले इन्वाइट किए हैं सर डॉक्टर the cabinet announced uh, the setting up of uh, who center international center in uh, jamnagar many people here from of jamnagar background are here with us pavan ji is here with so many other people number 2 is the message from our uh, foreign minister jay shankar ji saying that the initiative there is a, truly a global initiative to advise and to guide member states of the world health organization so that is a very very important initiative and in all of these um, issues is standards and quality and how to take this knowledge are we doing enough to ask ourselves where those lacuna are in quality where can we improve and pavan ji has put me as one of the speakers in today's um, event so i won't share anything about what is in my mind till pavan ji calls me to present uh, so i i put the floor back to pavan ji and i welcome all the presenters to our event today those who are joining us i particularly want to once again thank shantala ji who is here with us thank you for finding time shantala ji is very deeply connected with arogya bharati which is very interested in rural health you know gaon ki लोगों के लिए क्या हो सकती है जो शांतला जी इज वेरी डीपली कमिटेड इन दैट स्पेस विद आरोग्य भारती और हमारे साथ है 
uh, all our senior people are here. I'm so happy to see Sudhakar Reddy ji bhi hai hamare saath. Uh, so Harish ji jud gaya. And I want to specially thank Hema Shetty. Hema ji is uh, a very uh, the, um, involved person for us. And I hope Hema ji and other people will stay with us in the future events. So with those few words, I leave the floor back to Pavan ji. Pavan ji, it's to you now to just uh, I will wait for you to invite the speakers. And then because we have so many speakers, we will try and keep it to be brief, to, 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 be, to, to be brief and to the point. And then the questions we take at the end of the session, Pavan Ji, how are you questions in the beach? Means it is my humble suggestion that flow is disturbed if achha, questions achha. are achha. So, questions. Okay, so, so, so please save questions for later into the at the very end ji hamare saath hai do naye log narendra kumar ji namaskar ji aur uh, tarlok singh ji namaskar ji uh, shayad aapko pata hoga kahan se jud rahe log pavan ji so i welcome everybody narendra ji please put your introduce yourself on the chat box and also later into the conversation tarlok singh ji bhi namaskar ji thank you for joining us today and uh, we welcome all of you to the platform. Pavanji, all yours. Today, in the last webinar, sir, last, last before the last, this question was arised that how our IOS will be developed. Developed in the sense of technology, developed in the sense of syllabus, developed in the sense of system of education, developed in the sense of placement. So how and why? We would like to see our Ayurveda developed, whether it is not developed satisfactorily till date, and we want more developments in that. Definitely, developments are endless. Any development is definitely the indication of positive growth of the science. So our Ayurveda, with the blessings of Corona or COVID-19, have been popularized all over the world, small country, we were the talk of the town, maybe in negative, maybe in positive, but we, Ayush, was the talk of the town during this corona pandemic. This is satisfactory also. This is alarming also, that if we have to satisfy the modern world's need and modern world's desires, definitely, our science has to develop more, to be developed more. Why? With our expert scientists. And definitely, you are the pillars of the science. All of you, please guide us. Agnihotri ji there, is there for validatory remarks and concluding remarks. And he is noting everything point-wise. So I would like to request, humble request, all are my senior guardians. So I can't say more, but humble request, we would like to uh, consider the time also. And then point wise, if we discuss, then it will be better for all and better to compile also. And if possible, I will circulate it by after typing, please approve it. And then we will submit to the government. This can we do on this platform. This is my vision, sir, as I have learned from you seniors. So now I would like to request Dr. Vishnu Prasad Sharma ji, our guardian from the beginning, Dr. Adarni and Dr. Vishnu Prasad Sharma ji, former principal and president of Vishwayarved Parsad Assam, Guwahati. Welcome, welcome, sir. Mm. Okay, Namaskar to everybody. Good evening. Thank you, Dr. Pavan Samadhi, for organizing a wonderful, who can say nowadays, conference. Respected Madam Thangabalaji, VK Agnihutri Ji, Pavan Kumar Samadhi, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today's subject is a wonderful subject, how to modernize IUS. It is the most important. Ayurveda is a modern, though it is an ancient science. Up to mark, 
you today also because treatment shows very good result in various diseases. We have a very good treatment also. But one thing is there. We have to adopt this whatever modern science and technology has given to diagnose the cases. There are two, two things, Ayurvedic diagnosis, Ayurvedic treatment, modern diagnosis, Ayurvedic treatment. We have to follow both. We, nowadays, it is required whatever modern science and technology has given us to confirm the diagnosis. And that should be teached in undergraduate level and postgraduate level. Though in some syllabus, these courses are there. But from my side, I would like to request you that this should be taught by the expert people, expert fellow, then within short period, our students can learn all this technology and they can spread the knowledge to all Ayurvedic faculty or Ayurvedic student or Ayurvedic family. This is, this is my humble request or we have to follow, we have to follow. In our syllabus, some points are there, ECG, CT scan, but in most of the colleges, we don't have CT scan machine. In some colleges, yes, we have ultrasound, sonography is, is there, but experts should teach to the students very nicely. This all modern technology should be included in our syllabus or in our course. This is my humble request. Again, Ayurveda has been the main guiding force in drug discovery from traditional medicine. Since the practice of ethnomedicine is based on the age-long indigenous knowledge, which has been orally transmitted through generation and sustained in tradition, there is an urgent need to document such knowledge. The ongoing strategy adopt in India to document the precious traditional knowledge and conserve medicinal plants are important. India with her rich plant wealth and traditional knowledge about the medicinal use of the plants has given the scope to provide leadership in ensuring human health and longevity. The modernization of biovedic medicine, especially during the late 19th and early 20th century, colonial India has inspired many anthropological and historical studies. These studies have described modernization in terms of institutionalization of Ayurvedic training, pharmaceuticalization of drugs production, professionalization of medical practice, as well as biomedicalization and creolization of Ayurvedic knowledge and therapeutics. The modernization also entitled a process of compilation of knowledge and practice from diverse medical tradition across the South Asian region under the singular identity of Ayurveda. It is very important to review available evidence in the right perspective. In case of Ayurveda, the evidence can be drawn from two main sources. First source of evidence may be based on historical, classical, and present measures of clinical practice. Here, the documentation of practice to support various claims is very critical. Many reference to classical text is not sufficient as the evidence for practice. The second source of evidence may be based on scientific research to support various theories, medicine, and procedures used in Ayurvedic medicine. A critical analysis of present status of clinical practice and research of Ayurvedic medicine may be necessary in this 
states. Hence, we can conclude that evidence-based practice did digitalization of all the knowledge available in old manuscripts and samhitas, enhancing knowledge of Buddhas in dimension of modern science and bridging the gap between years and advancement, strategizing the formulation into more palatable or user-friendly from the ship, door-to-door -door knowledge dispensing regarding the, the scope, need and importance of Ayurveda, and vast exchange of knowledge from the bank of Ayurveda that need to not start by all the Ayurvedic physicians with the world, world modernization in dust here in Ayurveda, delivering the raw crude details of the age science in more sophisticated way in society benefit. But main aim is we have to adopt the modern technology in the treatment or to diagnose the disease. With this view, I conclude my lecture. Namaskar, namaskar to all. Thank you. Madam sir. Excellent. Mr. Prashadi, thank you so much for uh, emphasizing. Apnit, you have touched on one or two points. One is clearly the need for modernizing, but you have touched on a very important point of using modern diagnostics but using Ayurveda cure. Harish ji, who is here with us in the past many seminars, he has been advocating for this. And sometimes there is a tension here between this kind of thinking, but I think Harish ji will elaborate on that. And the second very important point is quality of education. And I will, I will touch on this as we go further into our uh, discussion. So your point is recognized, uh, well taken. And this has to be presented in a global context where what are India's needs, rural India's, particularly rural India's needs, um, and how some of the lessons from what rural India will offer us, how we can have global messages for that. I deeply appreciate uh, your touching on those, on some of the points. Harish ji, I leave that question about modern diagnostics and use of uh, Tridosh Siddhant for, for treatment. I think Agniyotri ji will also have some thoughts about this. This is a very important point. Um, I leave it there and I pass the floor back to Pavanji. Pavanji, thank you. Thank you, Vishnuji, because you have guided a big uh, institution in okay. Assam. We look forward to the points in discussions as we go along. Thank you, Pavanji. Thank you, sir. Now I would like to request Professor Patankar sir. Patankar sir is involved in Sain Ayurvedic College. So Patankar sir, our senior guardian and physician of Sukshma Medicine from Mumbai. Welcome, sir. Uh, today's subject is very unique. As uh, previously told by Vishnu Prasad Ji, he, how to modernize Ayush? It is then, yes, it is needed, but up to some extent. For exact and uh, perfect diagnosis, the way they use ECG or CT scan or X rays or USG, yes, it is definitely needed, as said by Vishnu Prasad Ji. But in my opinion, by taking the support of uh, modern techniques, uh, if our uh, nidan can be, वो गलत कभी-कभी हो सकता है, तो इसके लिए उसका सपोर्ट तो चाहिए ही, और उसके साथ में अगर अपनी जो सोच है, कि जैसा अभी मदन जी ने कहा, कि अपने जो सिद्धांत है, कि जो बेसिक्स है, उनके भी बारे में सोच करके अगर निदान किया जाए तो ज्यादा अच्छा रहेगा ऐसा मेरा मानना है मैं ये सब लोगों के सामने वैसे छोटा हूं मेरा अनुभव जो है तो इसके लिए ये बातें मैं थोड़ा झिझक करके कहता हूं पर 
इसके लिए हमको पेशेंट का अच्छा और उसको क्योर करना ये दोनों बातें पहले ध्यान में रखनी चाहिए आ, क्योंकि ऐसा होगा कि वाइल एक्सप्लेनिंग टू द पीपल और टू द डॉक्टर्स ऑफ आवर पैचेज क्योंकि अपना जो सिद्धांत है वो इतने मजबूत है तो इसके लिए उनको उनको उनके जो शब्द है उसमें कहना है पर बेसिक्स जो अपने वर्ड्स है कि वात को वाता मत कीजिए पित्त को पित्ता मत कीजिए तो इसके लिए उसको वात पित्त और कफ ऐसा ही रखना जरूरी है नहीं तो उसका प्रोनाउंसिएशन और उसका जो इम्पोर्टेंस है वो थोड़ा सा अलग हो जाता है ऐसा मेरा मानना है आ, और अपने जो डिफरेंट डायग्नोस्टिक मेथड्स है आयुर्वेद के हिसाब से कि जैसा त्रिदोष सिद्धांत है या धातु सिद्धांत है या मल सिद्धांत है उसको ही ध्यान में रख करके अगर डायग्नोस्टिक किया जाए तो हम लोग और भी लोगों को सही चिकित्सा और लोगों तक अच्छी तरह से पहुंच सकते हैं ये मेरा मानना है अपनी जो अपने जो मेडिसिन है उसमें भी हमारे गुरुओं ने और आचार्यों ने इतना परफेक्शन करके रखा है क्योंकि हर एक प्रकृति के हिसाब से या हर एक जैसे भी व्याधि की अवस्था है या रुग्ण की अवस्था है वो हिसाब से जो भी मेडिसिन है वो बदलते हैं और उसका डोज भी बदलता है कि ये उनको अच्छी तरह से समझाना तो इसके लिए उनको जो पैरामीटर्स है तो उसकी कुछ जरूरत लगेगी ऐसा मेरा मानना नहीं है मैं सबको एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ कि हमारे यहाँ पे महाराष्ट्र में एक डॉक्टर भास्कर करके थे उन्होंने उसके ऊपर अच्छा काम किया था वो फिलहाल अभी नहीं है उन्होंने त्रिभुवन कीर्ति के ऊपर काम किया था कि त्रिभुवन कीर्ति के जो भी इंग्रेडिएंट्स है वो आचार्यों ने ऐसे ही नहीं लिखे वही क्रम में अगर वो मिक्स किए जाए तो उसका जो इफेक्ट है वो और भी अच्छी तरह से मिलता है उसके साथ में उसकी जो भावना दी गई है उसका भी उतना ही इम्पोर्टेंस है क्योंकि ये सब दवाइया पेट में जाने के बाद उनका डिफ्यूजन और उनका एब्सॉर्बन कौन से पॉइंट पे होता है और उसके एक्शन कैसे होती है मैं तो कभी कभी ऐसा कहता हूँ कि हमारी त्रिभुवन कीर्ति की फॉर एग्जाम्पल पैरासिटेमोल से भी स्ट्रॉगर है और वो जल्दी रिजल्ट देती है कफज ज्वर में तो इसके लिए उसकी जो भावना है वो तो भावनाओं के बारे में भी इतनी अच्छी तरह से सोचा गया है कि पहले तुलसी की भावना दी है बाद में बाद में धोतरे की भावना है और सबसे आखिर में आर्द्रक स्वरस की भावना है तो इसके लिए उसका भी एब्सॉर्बन और उसके साइड इफेक्ट्स नहीं होने चाहिए ये हिसाब से सभी आचार्यों ने यह सोच करके ये सब काम किया है तो इसके लिए ये सब उनको समझाना ये ज्यादा जरूरी है क्योंकि एलोपैथी में कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल कि एक ही ड्रग जो है कि जो सबको मालूम है या तो उनके इसमें एंटीबायोटिक्स दिए जाते हैं या जो पेन किलर है वो अपने यहाँ पे उसमें भी इतना वेरिएशन है कि वो भी उनको समझाना पर वो समझाते समय उनका एब्सॉर्बन और ये कौन से कौन से जगह पे होता है और उसके एक्शन कैसे होती है ये भी मॉडर्न मेडिसिन वालों को या मॉडर्न डायग्नोस्टिक मेथड को समझाना ज्यादा जरूरी है और उसके साथ में कि ये सभी जैसा विष्णु प्रसाद जी ने कहा कि सभी टेक्निक जो है कि सी है सिटी स्कैन है एक्सरे है पर इसके मशीन जो है वो मेरे ख्याल से पूरे भारत में 90% परसेंट आयुर्वेदिक कॉलेज या 90 से भी ज्यादा नहीं है अवेलेबल पर फिर भी उनको सिखाया जाता है पर ये जो चीजें है ये अगर प्रैक्टिकली सिखाई जाए तो ज्यादा बेनिफिशियल रहेगी ऐसा मेरा मानना है आखिर में इतना ही कहूंगा कि मॉडर्नाइजेशन इज यूज ऑफ द आवर पर उसके लिए हमारे जो सिद्धांत है उनको छोड़े बगैर अगर ये मॉडर्नाइजेशन हो जाएगा तो ज्यादा बेहतर रहेगा आगे Uh, मेरे आगे मुझे पहले uh, ये मौका दिया गया इसके लिए पवन uh, जी का धन्यवाद क्योंकि तो मेरे से भी सीनियर और इसमें बहुत जानकारी रखने वाले अग्निहोत्री जी है और बाकी जो सब महानुभाव है तो उनको प्रणाम करके मैं मेरी जो विचार है वो यहीं पे समाप्त करता हूँ धन्यवाद मदन जी धन्यवाद अग्निहोत्री जी धन्यवाद पवन जी और विष्णु प्रसाद जी धन्यवाद
राजन जी थैंक यू वेरी मच आपने जो उठाया बात जी कि विदाउट लूसिंग द ओरिजिनैलिटी ऑफ वॉट एवर ऑफ आवर सिद्धांत फिर भी मॉडर्नाइज कैसे हो सकती है दिस इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू नो कि सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड आई एम वेटिंग फॉर हरीश जी रामदास जी भी है आपने जो संस्कृत के बारे में जो बताया Ramdas ji will elaborate on this where he has given us already thought as a indication pehli baar ki what is the meaning of some of these words why we must understand the meaning of the words and how that will help you become a better ayurveda practitioner or understanding of ayurveda so i will leave it there both those points are noted very important number 1 is मॉडर्नाइजेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट आपने जो बात बताया और हम जो आज सुबह सुबह हमने जो बात किया जी समीर पनक रस के बारे में देर आर मेनी सीक्रेट्स इन देर आर मेनी चेंजेस मेनी फाइन मॉडिफिकेशन आपने जो जो बताया कि तुलसी के रस के इनिशियल फिर उसके बाद कुछ और दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिटेल्स एंड देर इज नो शॉर्टकट होनी नहीं चाहिए सो हाउ टू कीप द ट्रेडिशनल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ट्रेडिशनल एस्पेक्ट और उसके साथ मॉडर्न जो चीज कैसे ले आए इसके अंदर टू इम्प्रूव द फ्यूचर ऑफ दिस होल साइंस कल हमारे साथ कल नहीं परसों हमारे साथ अवधेश जी थे चंडीगढ़ में एंड ही वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट द शिरोदारा और शिरोदारा की इनोवेशन कि इट इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट पोरिंग बट ड्रॉप बाई ड्रॉप ड्रॉप बाई ड्रॉप अब इनोवेट तो हो गया इसमें अब इसकी बेसिस क्या है वट इज द फिजियोलॉजी बॉडी इसके ऊपर रिसर्च होनी चाहिए कि नहीं सो दीज आर ऑल द क्वेश्चन क्योंकि दिस इज अ वेरी बिग इनोवेशन हो सकता है इसमें इम्प्रूवमेंट हो एंड आगरा से हमारे साथ थे ही वॉज सेंग समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड हरीश जी वॉज सेंग इफ यू इनोवेट बेस्ड ऑन द दोष प्रकृति देन दैट विल ऑल्सो गिव यू बेटर रिजल्ट अब दिस इज स्टेइंग कंसिस्टेंट विद समिता एंड द शास्त्र but innovating modernizing improving so we will come back to this so rajan ji thank you for highlighting aap jaise log you have so many years of practice in mumbai and listening to the practitioner is also very important in this space you know about modernizing i leave i leave the floor back to pavan ji and uh, thank you rajan ji points are noted important points thank you sir thank you very much now i would like to request our beloved dr sohas shetty director of kle dr sohas is most important as an administrator as a professor as a scientist as a cp expert and expert of his topic also so i welcome dr sohas shetty from kle belgaum welcome doctor thank you pawan ji uh, very good evening to all of you Uh, i think it's always a great honor and pleasure to have the interaction with the learned uh, seniors and the gurujis who are present here and uh, each time you uh, join this platform there is so much of learning so much of discussion so much of insights that you get uh, discussing with this stalwarts so in spite of having so much of uh, administrative commitments i just will try my best to join uh, this platform and uh, once again uh, high appreciation for pavan ji for taking all the initiation and sometimes i can see that he posts many of his uh, post uh, early in the morning you know 3 3 o'clock 4 o'clock uh, that that shows about the commitment and the, the love that he has for the science and uh, on behalf of everybody we highly appreciate you sir and uh, i'm sure we are always there with you joining hands and uh, probably your vision of taking this platform as well as ayurveda to the deeper heights will definitely be fulfilled as an academician as a practitioner as a researcher as an administrator i have few points to uh, say say in today's discussion basically as a academician or as a teacher for for the last 20 years i could see that uh, uh the we as a teacher we definitely need to adapt to the modern Uh, techniques and technologies and we also need to be present uh, to the latest uh, information at the same time uh, it's very important that uh, 
we do not compromise with the basic concepts. So uh, I think the Ayurvedic epistemological, maybe in terms of the terms, concepts, uh, when you explain to the students in terms of its clinical application and uh, in terms of its uh, uh, wider uh, expansion, I think uh, definitely the students of the modern or the present generation will be inspired. And that's what we have the greater role as teachers to probably inspire the students without compromising the basic concepts at the same time, adapting to the, the recent technologies, techniques, innovations, uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, etc. In, in the pursuit of acquiring the artificial intelligence, we should not lose the human intelligence, which is very, very vital and very, very important. We should not just blindly dependent on these technologies or innovations because Ayurveda has uh, yukti as one of the important pramanas apart from prateksha uh, because there is a lot of other like like anumana yukti plays a major role in ayurveda not just the prateksha so without compromising this particular aspects if we can definitely inspire the students in terms of explain the the basic concepts i think we definitely will have a, a long way to go in terms of the practice, like for example, I have been practicing the area of Manasaroga for the last 20 years. And you can see that we have a whole lot of experiences that we have now. And now it's very important that we probably we, uh, bring out our experiences in maybe in terms of uh, publications, in terms of some textbooks, in terms of our experiences, because it should not go along with us. It's like I uh, earnestly request most of the senior faculties to kindly pen down your experiences uh, with the, maybe with the help of your uh, juniors or with the help of the learning faculties so that uh, your experiences is always translated into practice or it becomes a very important contribution to the society so uh, because maybe especially in terms of uh, uh, especially when it comes to my practice especially at least five, six areas where I'm very, very now confident of handling any type of uh, conditions like uh, depression, anxiety, insomnia, drug addiction, epilepsy. Probably these are the five conditions probably I'm very confident of handling exclusive with the help of Ayurveda, uh, both uh, with the help uh, at the uh, inpatient practice as well as the OPD practice and uh, uh, trying my best to also uh, publish this in various platforms, maybe not only scientific platforms, but also say at present, uh, I have been treating with uh, three patients of the electromagnetic hypersensitivity uh, who has been <coughs> treated very effectively with the help of Rukshana, Shodhana, Basti and Rasayana. And this has come because of a few of my, which of the case reports which I've put on YouTube. And based on that, three uh, patients from Pune I would just come here and they're taking treatment for these conditions. So probably it's also important that because at this uh, generation, we use the social media, the technology, the, the good websites, good communications, good publications, scientific publications, uh, which I'm going to talk in the later part of how important we will have about uh, publications also. And, uh, and as I said, we are also developing various types of uh, web-based uh, uh, applications, technologies, like at present, we are working on the tongue diagnosis. We are take, using a high power tongue uh, and we are trying to analyze the dosha, the sa uh, samatha, niramatha, and the probable vadis. Now, we have com completed the initial pilot study on 200 participants, and now we are, with the help of the CDAC Pune, we are trying to extend it to 3,000 3, participants, uh, where we are trying to take the three dimensional pictures and that gives you the possible diagnosis in terms of dosha, ama, ama nirama and the possible diagnosis as per Ayurveda. And this is what probably we need to do. At the same time, we also have developed some instruments, like for example, instruments for the Vamana, where we have the collecting chamber, which collects not only the quantity, but also analyzes the basic uh, physical chemical analysis of the content that is coming out of this. And this again has been uh, transformed into a, a startup and this startup uh, has been now funded by our institution and they already come, have come up with this particular instrument 
which we also have got this patent for this particular product uh, two months back. And now with the help of this particular Cubenture, Cubenture startup, which is by the engineering students, we are trying to market this and probably we will be starting, we are all, almost in the words of this launch of this particular product of the Vamana table. We also have developed some instruments for the Parisheka, Nasya, Dhupana, Dhumapana, etc., which we are trying to, uh, and also we have also coming up with the, the basic parameters for the Basma Pariksha. At present, we are uh, with the Sukshma, Varitara uh, Basma Pariksha we are conducting. And in due course of time, probably we'll try to have the latest technology. technology. We are taking the help of the engineering college, the medical instrumentation department, the biotechnology department, and also the basic, I think that is what, if we can a little bit uh, have a, uh, orientation among the present generation about the basic science, not talking it as modern science, I'm talking it as basic science. And if we can have the interdisciplinary or collaborative research in other uh, contemporary uh, parts, I think we can have a very long way to go. And we have a very, uh, very, very promising and cooperative team here, and we are being excellent. And lastly, coming to the publication, which is the, again, one of the area, gray area of Ayurveda is quality publication, uh, because there are good number of practitioners, good number of uh, success stories, which definitely we have to translate into, people just think that uh, the practice and the publication or research do not go hand in hand. We need the scientific uh, physicians, like senior faculties who have their own experience, probably if you can, do some few case studies, case reports. See, at present, uh, we published one, I'll just give one simple example. We published uh, two uh, publications, one on the Huntington's chorea. And since then, uh, we have been getting more than 200 or 300 patients of Huntington's chorea across the world. Even last week also, I had two patients from Canada uh, who had come for the consultation for based on one single case report, and that has now become, they have even kept this particular article in the association of Huntington's Korea of the world. And where anybody looking for an alternative options can contact us for the Ayurvedic help. Similarly, the treatment resistant, treatment resistant uh, uh, schizophrenia, uh, which has been because of the, the side effects of the antipsychotics. We have again published that. We have recently, uh, uh, four or five months back, before I moved, moved to Belgaum, we published one, how Ayurveda medicines can be used in tapering the modern medicines. We followed the, a case for almost six months, and then the patient who was on antipsychotics uh, can also be used uh, for tapering the antidepressants, and now we the patient is totally on and we have followed the patients almost now, it was six months now, we are already continuing the patients for the follow. And it's such things, no? If, and always report this using some standard guidelines, like we have uh, care, uh, care guidelines for case reports, we have Prisma guidelines, stroke guidelines, consort guidelines, and there are some uh, standard guidelines available for different study designs. And if we can put this across, uh, uh, I think definitely we have a long way to go. So definitely the future will belong to the research, technology, pra specialty practices without compromising the basic aspects of uh, uh, the, I, I really appreciate Rajanji who was telling, no, we should never compromise. I, I, I'm definitely uh, with this. No, it's, it's very important that we should uh, we may we should not depend on technology maybe for the confirmation or maybe for even sometimes no, it's always good not only for patient but also some for us no there has been some changes in some blood investigations or some uh, sonological changes or definitely it's always good because as a human being it's same whether you are using ayurveda or modern no we are looking at as an individual from the same angle so that is why using the uh, the, uh, the collaborative uh, science is definitely will be the future. And uh, once again, I highly appreciate the efforts that is taken by this entire uh, team of highly uh, committed uh, senior faculties. Uh, I'm always there. Uh, what a little bit contribution I can do from my side. 
from my institution. I'll be very happy to do that. So wishing this uh, platform uh, to a newer heights. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Suharshi. Thank you so much. You have you are always very clear in your prescriptions. So thank you so much for uh, your contribution today. Shantalaji says highly appreciate the inputs from Dr. Suharshi. Suharshi, before we let you off the floor, I have one question for you, which is your your presentation at the European Congress for Integrative Medicine in London. Could you tell all of us here? what kind of feedback you had because your presentation was very well received and uh, just a little bit a few words please. thank you uh, yeah i think it was almost seven eight months back when uh, madanji uh, uh, just uh, shared me about a conference which was ha uh, happening in london the european uh, conference on the integrative medicine called as ecism I, ecim which was happening in the month of august and uh, there we had to present a uh, uh, paper uh, we did a very good study, a very, a very big study on 1,600 participants on COVID negative patients who are suffering uh, with uh, uh, anxiety and depression. We used a scale called as DAS scale, D-A-S-S, Depression Anxiety Stress Scale 21. It comes in two formats. One is a uh, shorter format called as D-A-S-S 21. And we have one more uh, larger format called as D-A-S-S 42. We used D-A-S-S 21 and we uh, screened uh, 1,676 uh, patients who are coming along with the COVID positive patients. It was uh, in the first first wave of the COVID that we did this study in 2020. From uh, uh, August till November 2020, we did this study. And then we screened what was their issues. And we found that almost 20 to 30% of the patients were having anxiety, depression, and stress. And then we gave them Brahmi capsule. Uh, 350 mg of Brahmi capsule, which was specially prepared for this particular purpose. And we gave to 200 patients out of 1,676 whom we screened, we got around 300 patients who were eligible. And among them who were ready to participate with us for one month, we gave them uh, 250, uh, 350 mg of Brahmi capsule, one capsule twice daily. And we could see a significant reduction. And along with that, definitely the diet, lifestyle advisors, counseling were also done uh, based on that. Probably one of the shortcomings of this particular study design was we didn't have a control uh, because we didn't uh, we didn't have much time there. We didn't have a control. That was one of the, we should have done an RCT study. Probably this definitely would have taken the study to newer heights. And that is what we have done now. We have uh, extended this study using an RCT study now. And we are at present uh, almost in the completion of this particular study using a RCT study with a um, uh, medical college. We are doing the Ayurvedic part and we are uh, collaborating with the medical college who are doing the modern part of this. And this is what, and we have almost in the end of this particular studies. And then uh, this was highly appreciated in the conference and they requested this to be published in their journals. And now this has, this particular article has come in their recent uh, uh, issue of the uh, European Journal of Integrative Medicine. Uh, the, the effect of Brahmi in anxiety depression of COVID among COVID uh, patients. Uh, so this, I can maybe share the link uh, during Thank you. The, due course of time. Thank you, Shwasi. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you yeah. again for sharing this little bit because this Brahmi has come up in our discussions with Agniyotri ji. We'll come back to this point and very, very important. I'm happy to hear that uh, the, the paper is now published in the European Journal for Integrative Medicine. So, Haji, I hope, I know you are busy, but I hope you will stay with us for a little longer so that you can hear all the contributions. And then when we come to the quest discussions at the end, we want some input. I'll be there for the en en entire discussion, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Suhashi. We keep in mind, we are also happy to have uh, from originally from Mysore. Now, uh, Shantalaji is listening carefully in Riga in Latvia. So, Pavanji, all yours. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Suhas. You are really unique as always. Always. There is no doubt about it. You are unique, dynamic, energetic, progressive. And the sky is the height for you. Our blessings are with you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Swas. Now, I would like to request Dr. Yunus Munsiji. Dr. Yunus Munsiji is head of Regional Research Institute for Unani Medicine, Calcutta, West Bengal. 
So I would like to request Dr. Yunus Munsiji to comment on the development of Yunani. What are the points for Yunani developments? And he is administrator, researcher, handling whole RRI here. He is from basically Kashmir. So he knows everything. Welcome, doctor. Welcome, Yunus Munsiji. Just give me two minutes. Somebody is knocking at my door. Just oh, give me two minutes. Mind. Please continue, Ji. This will give us a little time. Two minutes. May he, I want to see. He may be. He may be Pawan Sharma himself. Oh, okay. Who is, who is knocking, knocking the knocking. door? Of, who is knocking the door? Agniyotri Ji, that point Suhaj Ji mentioned: three hundred and fifty uh, uh, milligram Brahmi ki. We will come back to this point. I think. Yunus Ji is here with us. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back. Your, good, are you? Good, good evening to everybody. I have seen the seniors over here, whom I admire most because I have learned a lot from this platform. Although I, I uh, sometimes skip the program because of the other <laughs> engagements. But I love to be with a lot of senior faculty members over here. It All credit goes to Dr. Pawan Sharma, who, who gathers all these uh, senior faculty members, so experienced people on a single platform. I have two uh, questions, which I will answer myself naturally home. I will question because I'm here to answer the questions. Number one is that uh, why people come to uh, seek the alternative treatment? Let it be Ayurveda, let it be Yunani, let it be anything else. Because they know they have different way of diagnosis, they have different way of treatment. That is a basic cause that people are attracted towards our, our, our path. Even in European countries. In India, it was, it is there, it is uh, since centuries over here. And number two, India has been epicenter of education. Instead of we will attract the Europeans to follow us, we are it is it is going well, uh, vice versa, and the river is flowing flowing rivers now, because they have developed a lot of things, but those things are not so much reliable as we consider them. My simple example, Dunga, if we give just one single blood sample to three laboratories, all the three will give different parameters, different um, uh, these uh, uh, numbers. So how, how, how can we, but we have to, we have to. As uh, Dr. Patangarji said uh, rightly, we don't have to lose our basics. We'll adopt the modern, nothing doing, modern gadgets, modern technology, modern way of uh, diagnosis. That will be the way for ideas. But what we have to follow, it is a basic. Basics of our uh, Ayurveda and Yunani, basics of treatment, basics of diagnosis, basics for the uh, selection of the medicine. Everything we have clear cut in our books, but that needs to validate to be validated. As Dr. Sahas rightly said, that we they have they have done a lot of work. It is it is admirable. We have to collaborate with the modern people to validate our system not to follow their system. If we are um, collaborating with the uh, IT sector for artificial intelligence, it is not that we will adopt the artificial, artificial intelligence for the diagnosis. No, it is to validate our basics, our fundamentals, unko artificial intelligence pe hum kya validate kar sakte hai, so that we can show the world that these are our fundamentals and they are proven by your technology. So this is the how, how we can go ahead. Since I am a research, I practice a lot in research. I practice a lot in research. But in research, we have to do this. When we have to publish in the international journals, we have to follow the international criteria. Like ARA criteria for arthritis, um, uh, PASI score for psoriasis, then we have um, prostate uh, score for menopausal score for postmenopausal. I have done all these studies based on the uh, modern lines modern uh, these uh, uh, protocols but we have also considered our basics that if a person is having hot temperament he needs the medicine 
which will not harm his basic. If we will give medicine, heart medicine to a heart temperamental person, naturally there will be definitely uh, consequences. If we will go give cold medicine, then we have degrees of hardness, degrees of coldness in the medicine also. If fourth degree medicine there is, that can't be given in larger doses. So we have to take that into consideration. These things are the major causes of concern to our people because we can't define our we we it is it is our basically we are we are lagging behind. We can't uh, what what I say I'm explaining कर पा रहे हैं scientific community को वो अपना राग अलापते हैं और हम बेस अपने basics पर अटके हुए हैं हम उनको explain नहीं कर पा रहे हैं कि हम क्या कर रहे हैं हम कैसे like 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 we 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 follow the humors अगर इसमें सफरावियत ज्यादा हुई है सफरा ज्यादा हुआ है तो हाउ वी वी कैन इरेडिकेट दैट तो कैसे वो डायग्नोज करें कि इसमें सचमुच सफरावियत ज्यादा हुई दैट इज टू बी प्रूव इन द मॉडर्न वे टू द मॉडर्न पीपल सो यहाँ पे मैं स्वास जी से बिल्कुल सहमत हूं दैट वी हैव टू कलेबरेट विद द मॉडर्न पीपल सो टू वैलिडेट आवर पैथी ताकि हम लोगों को ये बता सकें कि ये 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 चीजें हैं नाउ गवर्नमेंट इज ब्रिंगिंग एलोपैथिक पीपल आल्सो इन द इन द इन द आयुष अब वो क्या गुल खिलाएंगे आई डोंट नो छह महीने में क्या पढ़ सकते हैं वो बेसिक्स छह महीने में वो मॉडर्न uh, को कैसे इसके साथ जोड़ेंगे बट दिस दिस विल बी दिस विल प्रूव डेटरमेंटल फॉर द फॉर आवर ओन सिस्टम दिस विल प्रूव डेटरमेंटल फॉर आवर ओन सिस्टम बिकॉज दे दे विल वो वो कहते हैं हमारे पास नीम हकीम नीम हकीम जो आधा ये जानता है आधा वो जानता है और वो बीच में कहीं नहीं जाता है एंड अल्टीमेटली इट विल पब्लिक सफर अगर स्वास्थ्य जी ट्रीटमेंट कर रहे हैं वो बिल्कुल बेसिक्स पे चल रहे हैं मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं जस्ट फॉर द आइडियाज कि यहां से जाना है हाँ इसका यूरिक एसिड ज्यादा है सो दैट मीन गाउट गाउट नाउ विल कम टू आवर ओन पैथी गाउट का क्या है बेसिक्स ये कौन से मिजाज का है इसमें कौन सा खिल कौन सा ह्यूमर ज्यादा हो रहा है किस ह्यूमर को हमें निकालना है उसका उसका एक्सक्रीशन करना है तो वहां पे हम बेसिक्स पे आ जाते हैं मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी मॉडर्न गैजेट्स आर जस्ट गिव द आइडियाज दैट दिस पेशेंट इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम दिस डिजीज बट द बेसिक विल बी समर एल्स you'll be seeing that we have we have lot of uh, people now presently lot of diseases are coming from um, uh, this depression and anxiety the modern people give the medicine following the symptoms they follow the symptoms but we look forward i will i may shayad isse pehle kaha hu ya nahi kaha hu ek ek simple ek case mere paas aaya a young girl of uh, uh, 15, 16 years old, उसका नेक रिजिडिटी थी अल्दो वो इलेट क्लास हमारा हम तो सेकेंडरी आते हैं पहले वो सारा एलोपैथिक खाक मारते हैं पूरा छान मारते हैं उसके बाद हमारे पास आते हैं वे आर द सेकेंड चैक्स तो हमारे पास आके सारे चूंकि टोटली उसमें आपका एम आर आई हुआ था आपका एक्सरे हुआ था एवरी थिंग वॉज देयर बट एवरी थिंग वॉज नॉर्मल मैं सिंपली एक बात पूछा What about her temperament? इसका मिजाज कैसा है इशी इशी ओवर रिएक्ट इशी इरिटेबल उस पर उसकी माँ ने कहा ये, ये तो रोज उसके भाई के साथ लड़ाई होती रहती मैंने दूसरा क्वेश्चन किया कि जिस दिन लड़ाई होती है उसके दूसरे दिन क्या होता है का स्टिफ ज्यादा होती है सो दिस वॉज अस हेयर वी केम टू द बेसिक्स तो यहां पर थोड़ा सा हमें अपना दिमाग मैं अपने अपने पेशेंट्स को भी कभी कभी कोई हेल्दी पर्सन आता है भाई मेरा ब्लड ग्लूकोज थोड़ा सा बड़ा हुआ है मेरा यूरिक एसिड बड़ा हुआ इफ ए क्रिपलड पर्सन एक आदमी को आर्थराइट से क्रिपल्ड है उसके इन्वेस्टिगेशन ठीक आ रहे हैं शल वी कंसिडर हिम हेल्दी पर्सन नो नॉट एट ऑल इसी तरह से इफ हेल्दी पर्सन इज हैविंग सम चेंजेस इन बायो केमिस्ट्री वाई 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 शुड वी कंसिडर हिम एज ए डिजीज पर्सन लेट एस टेक प्रकाशंस वो सिर्फ ये वार्निंग होता है कि दैट यू मे सफर फ्रॉम दिस थिंग एंड दैट थिंग यू हैव टू टेक प्रिकॉशन यू यू कंट्रोल योर डाइट यू कंट्रोल योर लाइफ स्टाइल एंड देन एवरीथिंग विल बी ओके तो ये चीजों में दैट दैट वी वी हैव टू वी हैव टू प्रूव टू द वर्ल्ड थ्रू दियर लैंग्वेज 
ये मैं ये कहूंगा कि दैट वी हैव टू प्रूव टू द वर्ल्ड थ्रू देयर लैंग्वेज व्हाट वी आर डूइंग ओवर हियर बट वी हैव नॉट टू लीव आवर बेसिक्स वी हैव टू सिट ऑन आवर बेस थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर गिविंग मी द चांस चलिए थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच यू हैव you have once again touched on some key points here about not losing the principles or for a lot of people they don't appreciate the depth of um, concepts some fundamental concepts that are in uh, unani systems uh, particularly the misaj concept i think it is a, something that everybody must learn and i think there is a lot of work to be done there number 2 aapke unani system mein tastes are understood slightly differently Uh, from i think you have nine tastes one is a very important aspect which is tasteless is also a very important thing there are many parallels there where i think we need to sit together ayurved siddha wale and unani must sit together and see how do we understand shadrasa versus the nine tastes in unani this is one example that uh, where there can be a better understanding of some very important things hamare sath hai ji france mein प्रोफेसर नईम खान दिल्ली में पढ़े थे मेडिसिन अब नईम खान जी की रिसर्च जो बोर्डो नहीं डीजोम में चलता है ही इज हेड ऑफ दन ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट देर ही इज टेलिंग एस दट फैट इज ऑल्सो अ टेस्ट सो इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग की फैट इज ऑल्सो अ टेस्ट और उनकी जो एक्सपेरिमेंट नईम खान की एक्सपेरिमेंट जो इतनी shandar experiment and he shows how fat is a taste so there are many aspects of uh, uh, basic principles also where we can have a lot of dialogue between many many things uh, so that is uh, one point Basically, we Number were leaders in the education we were leaders in the uh, in, in uh, previous centuries so we have to prove that we are such a leaders thank you and your our, our honorable prime minister said that we have to come out and we have to prove that india is still a leader still a leader. we have not left we are not left behind so once upon a uh, 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 once upon a time university it was said you have given shared the paper about that knowledge city that was in iran once upon a time and you have written a lot about that and somehow it disappeared similarly india had uh, nalanda takshila nalanda university program the project is going on so i feel there are some messages there markas is another place markas knowledge city is coming up in kerala is another place where there is a lot of sanskrit university was in kashmir sharda bilkul so there are so many very important we things have settled, to... we have settled the first conference which was held in sanskrit uh, in in kashmir we have settled the proceedings written on the copper plates they are settled in the museum in the kashmir in kashmir that so was the first this... conference in i think it is centuries before so we are rich in knowledge why 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 should we leave that we have to come forward yes we have to collaborate with every every uh, that whatever the modern uh, developments are in the science we have to collaborate to prove ourselves not to to adopt theirs to prove our own that is thank what you mushi ji thank you very much your interest in rheumatoid arthritis and inflammation and all these things are very very important for all of us you know it's a, these are global problems and i think if we collectively work on all of these things using maybe modern technology you know the a way of integrating uh, inflammation markers and using harish ji will talk about this a little bit inflammation markers but treating using mizaj treating using tridosh siddhant we will come up with a, a world beating formula for innovative approaches thank you ji i will leave the floor back to pavan ji to uh, bring our next speaker now i would like to request professor vk agnihotri sir dr param parth parmeshwaraya is not there acha we satya rajeshwaran ji is not here no. with us so i would like to request agnihotri ji thank you sir thank you dr bhavan sharma ji uh, our regards to dr professor manohar sir and uh, sure. my namaskar to all our co uh, speakers of today's webinar along with all the respected guests uh, i pay my regards uh, i was listening uh, uh, by now the four speakers have spoken uh, i think uh, two three from uh, ayurveda and one is from yunani uh, our idea is this that uh, uh, since i am belong to ayurveda i will limit myself to 
the modernization if possible, as far as the ayurveda is concerned uh, what we listened is that uh, um, most of the time persons are talking about the how the medicinal uh, approach be uh, made more and more modernized uh, whatever the text is available in uh, ayurvedic but i think it is partial only the treatment part is the ayurved i don't think that it is so and being a teacher for me uh, since uh, 12 departments are having post graduation courses so we have to be very particular for each and every department how it can be modernized i should say uh, if i go for the cambridge uh, this uh, uh, dictionary uh, that's different than what modern word mean is but my approach is that uh, to make our ayurvedic knowledge updated that will be probably the um, um, for my opinion it may be a good term as uh, manan sir ji was talking that uh, which term is to be given for uh, our series whether it is uh, webinar or conference seminar whatever it is so for me uh, i think it is satsang it is satsang of 330 uh, episodes Uh, which is which is covering very good because everybody is speaking true. Uh, we are meeting on the basis of the uh, truth. So truth is uh, being revealed. Now, if, if everything I say that uh, to be modernized, we see traditionally we are listening the a uh, small table book right from two is two one the two two to the four to the uh, six. How it can be modernized? The theme is very clear. It can be put. in any way if we start the changing the process of learning this table we can use two article and then put two more article and we'll say that it is become four so two to the four but but the definition of uh, table or pahala it is said that uh, repeated addition is known as multiplication which is not addition is entirely different in the terms of arithmetic and um, multiplication is uh, different so it is also not a proper definition what's our part is that i would like to go uh, with professor uh, ramdas ji as far as the text teaching is concerned we are teaching test so instead of teaching test we should teach the concept as he told on that day so with the help of the tkdl our vrahatrai or laghutrai whatever the concept is there is to be recompiled recompiled in the sense that it can be now available uh, and understandable to those persons coming from the other walk of life or other paths this is one thing i think uh, we have got in the same uh, topic uh, ahar at three places in charak sangita when the person the consumer is the one who is the healthy person either or the diseased person so can't it be compiled in such a form that when we talk about the ayurvedic uh, knowledge of ahar it is now this that's why since this knowledge coming from atharveda which is itself in sanskrit a number of uh, uh, scholars like uh, agnivesh or pranav uh, uh, agni atre these all along with the shushud and all them uh, they all did work and ultimately now we are having the form of the epix so now we teachers are teaching from these epics and if the teacher will if the student will not be taught properly at modern style or modern basis then what, what he is going to plead himself in the terms of the practice so i just started things uh, in enumerating all the department see uh, uh, i started with the molly siddhant vivak so in in case of molly siddhant vivak whatever the literature is available the same thing in charya in sushu sangita charak sangita and also vagavata sangita and ashtanga the both so let us have a concentrated compilation of the theme and the thought then we can be in position to practice in a modern terminology or modern methodology so methodology is we have adopted so many things which are available for last 30 40 60 years uh, given by the uh, different branches of science uh, so goes the case of kai chikitsa we treat the patient with the kachikitsa but here we have got no compromise as far as the as the principles of kachikitsa is concerned so uh, based on the doshon ki anshansh ka rutna ke aadhar par we start making diagnosis and when it is uh, diagnosed that too with the help of the persons uh, personal dosha prakriti who is going to consume the medicine 
this all network is happening so how can it i can say that the modern terminology or modern methodology will help me of course pulse tracing may be there nali can be detected by means of the today's available tools which have been just invented by our very senior persons that true but our principles are supposed to be remain there changing in language does not mean that we are changing our way why should we say and as our dr pande actually uh, pande says that uh, ayurveda incomparable so we need not to compare with the modern medicine and what technology is they are using now we come to the third department especially our pharmacy professor uh, dr pavan sharma ji and all our professor c v jasa and all our uh, uh, rashas persons are well um, um, uh, noticed it uh, that uh, what is now effective we were using gajput we were using Uh, so many things now the elective furnaces are there with the help of the regulating of temperature as 10 10 cow dung heat how much 10 cow dung cake burning heat will lead to which temperature then 100 and so on so that temperature can be regulated by keeping the our medicines uh, in syrup some put and all that so we are started using the tools and the modern developed technology but uh, previously we were doing uh, the handmade beats and goli there was much more chances of the difference the weight it may be 120 mg or it may be uh, 250 mg so um, we are now started using the tabulating um, machines uh, our electric furnaces pulverizers so so many things are there which we have used but we have to see that on doing this all especially using pulverizers whether the sugun uh, veer park will remain the intact in the uh, end product or they may be vitiated or deviated because of the heating process of the that pulverizer or the mixer so so many things are still under it so how much we will follow the modernization that, uh, on the cost of the losing of the uh, benign and initial uh, characteristics of our house so pharmacy we have adopted so goes the case with the other department devgun department there been gun department are supposed to come forward as far as the teaching is concerned that whatever the controversy species are there in our indian flora and fauna they should be kept aside as as this astrologer is also it is always a uh, it is always a debate or conversation that we are using astrologer we are not using whether the astrologer is available or we are using the representatives of astrologer it should be taught in our uh, colleges to the students so that they, they should not beat out the bush or they should not um, run for the this uh, mirage that uh, we can get it so goes the case with the long pressing question of our um, pavan ji that gorochan our kasturi in our uh, abbar these things are all with the, even the one solution so modernization does not mean that we we are supposed to lose our characteristics of all the basics of ayurvedic texts so goes the case with the shalya shalya and shalak whatever the tools and instruments are concerned they are well designed with this help of the steel but they are there in pashan uh, yug or i should say then i stone uh, using or metal uh, this uh, wood using subject so goes the case with the agat tantra whatever the toxicology we are just making um, a, a repetition of the teaching is not at present what the lutika wish uh, uh, what is uh, other wish can air everything so toxicology should be put uh, at par to the modern medicine but as far as the bahrik jurisprudence is concerned how much jurisprudence was there our jurisprudence is completely located in the 30th chapter of charak sangita the what are do's what are don'ts uh, bengala naam vidya kim param anayushyakaram paristhi ganam anayushyakaram param these are all our uh, uh, as far as the jurisprudence is concerned vihara with concern self with tatar and all that so uh, since we are making our uh, students from bms to md and even up to phd we should be very literally clear that in what terms and in what compromise we are going to use our sciences in uh, change in the modern par uh, parameters or the modern question. as far as the diagnostic tools are concerned okay even after getting uh, the result or reports from the diagnostic tools of uh, present era made be uh, made by physicists or the chemistry department not of allopathy even x ray is uh, given by x ray uh, madam curi pericori so uh, they are all contribution be helpful for making a diagnosis what when the diagnosis comes we are supposed to go for our pharmacopia our devgun our rashas prepared patients honestly and purified and then we can use in the uh, our uh, uh, the treatment 
so uh, we we should be 200% honest and careful where we want to make the things modernized modernized thing i would like to say up to the mark and if we give some some messages some knowledge to the students coming for bms and md then that person will practice with the full confidence in the terminology of ayurved with the tools of ayurved with the medicines of ayurvedic uh, pharmacology and uh, our pharmacy then uh, will be i think uh, uh, fulfill our wish to be to be um, well aware and well acceptable to the world i think today's submission is this much uh, so we all uh, uh, right uh, in the same uh, terminology chaitra chaitra kriya krishna we should so stick our terms marma sota shira kandra whatever has been used kala in our sarira chan chaitra kriya and we need not to uh, blind follow uh, the attempts they are right at their place we are with the test uh, we are uh, compelled to maintain our terms whatever they are in the our sarira chan sarira kriya vibhag so right from all is done to all the 14 departments we are supposed to uh, make the knowledge updated and be palatable to the avidic students and also understandable to the other walk of the life person thank you this is my assumption thank you thank you sir thank you agni ji thank, thank you so much wonderful you have touched on again some very very complete key points you are note taking aapko <laughs> degree ke liye notes wagera dena padega ji wapas hamare बोला आप डिग्री देंगे तो हम नोट दे आपके आपके लिए कैपिटल कॉपीराइट हो जाएगा नहीं अक्षय जी आपने जो यू हैव टच्ड ऑन सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स इसमें बीइंग बीइंग अ टीचर दिस इज व्हाई वी वांट टू लिसन टू एवरीथिंग यू आर सेइंग क्योंकि वो देयर इज अ टेंशन हियर अगेन कि बच्चों के अंदर क्या आनी चाहिए जी बच्चों ki wo jo confidence their confidence is still lacking and how to bring pride into them you know they they must feel proud of this knowledge and that comes from i think it has to come from a different way of looking at teaching them you know their pride must increase and that pride must come from seeing results there are some amazing results uh, jaise uh, the, uh, the suhash ji ne jo bataya ki we take so many patients we treat this and connect it with the modern suhash ji is saying you put one case study in a facebook you get people coming from all parts of the world and munshi ji's comment is right why do they come to us because they feel the way we approach human physiology the way we approach treatment and management of conditions is very different from modern medicine so people are waiting to hear and uh, our students suhash ji ne jo bataya ji is the students must see this you know how the power of modern uh, uh, social media is being used in simple ways to bring and they will feel they have to connect with this contemporary thing so we will come back to these points sir because you are the senior most teacher here i think among all of us you have uh, been in bhu you have looked after the big department in uttarakhand so we look forward to all your comments as being very precious i we will come back to this in the discussion point i leave the floor back to um pavan ji to bring our next speaker thank you sir thank you very much thank you very much agnatri ji thank you very much now i would like to request dr harish verma ji from canada dr harish verma ji please guide us sir namaskar sabhi acharyon ko pranam नमस्कार नमस्कार सर प्रणाम स्वागत मेरे ख्याल में सभी ने सारा कुछ कवर कर दिया है मैं कुछ अपने एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करता हूँ पहले तो जो आपका पवन जी टॉपिक है हाउ टू मॉडर्नाइज आयु सिस्टम तो मैं तो सिर्फ आयुर्वेद की ही बात कर सकता हूँ तो जो मॉडर्नाइजेशन है ये हमें हर लेवल पे रिक्वायर्ड है मतलब राइट फ्रॉम एजुकेशन प्रैक्टिस मैनुफेक्चरिंग आर एंड डी एंड इवन प्रमोशन सभी सेक्टर्स में मॉडर्नाइजेशन की जरूरत है अगर हम एजुकेशन की बात करें एजुकेशन में हालांकि बहुत मॉडर्नाइजेशन हो रही है हमारी किताबों की शक्ल देखिए आप कितनी सुंदर किताबें बनने लगी हैं प्रिंटिंग देखिए कमाल की प्रिंटिंग 
ये अभी शुरू हुआ लेकिन ये पहले पचास साल पहले भी शुरू हो सकता था बट नहीं हुआ तो अभी शुरू हो गया बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है प्रिंटिंग बहुत अच्छी बहुत सुंदर प्रिंटिंग होने लगी है और किताबें बड़ी अच्छी बन गई है एजुकेशन में टेक्नोलॉजीज का यूज होने लग गया है ये व्हाट्सएप वगैरह ये जूम वगैरह सारे टेक्नोलॉजीज ऑनलाइन टीचिंग बहुत कमाल की मॉडर्नाइजेशन हो रही है आयुर्वेदा एजुकेशन में और एजुकेशन का स्तर बहुत अच्छा हो रहा है लेकिन ये पहले हो सकता था फिर प्रैक्टिस की बात जहां तक सेकंड पार्ट एजुकेशन के बाद प्रैक्टिस की बात है मैं मदन जी को सुन रहा था डॉक्टर मदन जी ने कहा कि स्टूडेंट्स को कैसे मोटिवेट किया जाए मैं एक अपना उदाहरण देना चाहता हूं जब मैं बी का छात्र था हमें आयुर्वेद 20-25 साल की 25 वर्ष की आजु में आयुर्वेद समझ ही नहीं आता है तो हालांकि मेरे पिताजी आयुर्वेद घर में आयुर्वेद अब तो हर बेहड़ा आमला से खेला करते थे लेकिन फिर भी समझ नहीं आता था जो थ्योरी पार्ट था बहुत टफ लगा मुझे आयुर्वेद को समझना तो मेरे लिए बड़ा आसान था कि मॉडर्न डायग्नोसिस को समझे और उसकी प्रैक्टिस करें तो मैंने जैसे रोमेटाइड आर्थराइटिस को पढ़ा बहुत आसानी से समझ आ गया और उसका बाद में जब प्रैक्टिस की तो पेशेंट्स भी वैसे ही मिलने लगे जो रोमेटाइड आर्थराइटिस के सिम्टम होते थे वैसे ही मॉर्निंग स्टिफनेस उसके बाद स्वेलिंग अल्लर डेविएशन वो सारा कुछ देखने को मिलता था लेकिन आयुर्वेद के डायग्नोसिस में जब हम पढ़ते थे वो जो चीजें लिखी हुई हैं वो देखने को मिलती नहीं थी तो धीरे धीरे माइंड सेट हो गया कि हम डायग्नोसिस तो करें मॉडर्न सिस्टम के हिसाब से और उसकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन कराएं उसको कंफर्म करें कि पेशेंट को रोमाटाइड है रोमाटाइड आर्थराइटिस फैक्टर है पॉजिटिव है एंटी सी सी पी एन एंटीबॉडी सी आर सी रिएक्टिव प्रोटीन वो सारा कुछ ई एस आर वगैरह उससे हम निश्चित करते थे कि डायग्नोसिस जो है कंफर्म हो गया है और ट्रीटमेंट आयुर्वेदिक करना उससे मैंने एक अपना ही कॉन्सेप्ट बना लिया कि आयुर्वेदिक मॉडर्न डायग्नोसिस और आयुर्वेदिक ट्रीटमेंट इस आधार पे मैंने कोई तीस पैंतीस साल पूरी प्रैक्टिस की बाद में मैं जब इंग्लैंड में था तो आयुर्वेदा को दोबारा से पढ़ना शुरू किया तो मैंने रियलाइज किया कि हमारा जो सक्सेस रेट है वो और भी इंप्रूव हो सकता है अगर हम वाकफ कफ का कॉन्सेप्ट इसमें लगाए तो मैंने फिर मॉडर्न डायग्नोसिस के साथ डायग्नोस किया ट्रीटमेंट के दौरान मैंने हर चीज को वाकफ कफ से एनालाइज करना शुरू किया जैसे एग्जाम्पल अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस के हम पेशेंट देखते थे तो अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस में मैंने वाद विद काफ की थ्योरी लगानी शुरू की तो रिजल्ट और भी बेटर हो गए हमारे सक्सेस रेट बहुत अच्छा हो गया हमें पता लग गया कि सिर्फ की क्लोनोस्कोपी या बायोप्सी से डायग्नोसिस करके एक जो चिकित्सा जो सिंपल दवाइयां हम देते हैं वो काफी नहीं है हमें वाद विद काफ का प्रकृति के प्रकृति और विकृति दोनों उसको अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा और उसको अप्लाई जैसे किया तो कमाल के रिजल्ट हो गए और बहुत अच्छा रिजल्ट आने लग गया सक्सेस रेट बढ़ गया तो ये एक पॉइंट था जहां मैंने सोचा कि मॉडर्नाइजेशन के साथ साथ हमें आयुर्वेदिक प्रिंसिपल्स को भी लेके चलना है तो प्रैक्टिस में मॉडर्नाइजेशन इस तरह से मैंने सोचा जहां तक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग तीसरा सेक्टर जो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट डिपार्टमेंट है उसमें भी मॉडर्नाइजेशन की बहुत जरूरत है और पिछले पंद्रह बीस साल से बहुत कमाल की मॉडर्नाइजेशन हुई है मेरा एक छोटा सा मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट है हिमाचल में मैं कॉन्टिन्यूसली टच में हूँ आयुष मंत्रालय के उनकी जो मॉडर्नाइजेशन के जो मेथड है इवन जब से ये जीएमपी शुरू हुआ है मैं पहले 95 में मैं इंग्लैंड में था 95 में उन्होंने जब हमने कुछ मेडिसिन एक्सपोर्ट करनी थी तो उन्होंने कहा ही हमें जी सर्टिफिकेट आप साथ में दीजिए मैं आयुर्वेदिक डिपार्टमेंट में गया वो कहते जी जीएमपी तो होते ही नहीं है हमारे आयुष में आयुर्वेदा में जीएमपी सर्टिफिकेट ही नहीं था तो लेकिन जब से जीएमपी आया है उसके बाद जब से शेड्यूल टी आया है बहुत कमाल की मॉडर्नाइजेशन हो गई है आयुर्वेदिक इंडस्ट्री में मेडिसिन का क्वालिटी कंट्रोल क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस बहुत कमाल का हो गया और रिसर्च में भी बहुत लोगों ने इंटरेस्ट लेने बहुत सारे लोग इंटरेस्ट लेने लगे हैं मैं आजकल देखता हूँ रिसर्च में सिर्फ मॉडर्न मेडिसिन के लोग ही नहीं फार्माकोलॉजी के लोग 
बायोकेमिस्ट्री के लोग बहुत सारे लोग इसमें इंटरेस्ट ले रहे हैं और बहुत डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है तो मॉडर्नाइजेशन की आर एन डी में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में भी जरूरत है और हो रही है और चौथा सेक्टर जो है प्रमोशन का प्रमोशन जो है इसके बगैर भी कोई साइंस आगे बढ़ नहीं सकती है जब से आयुर्वेदा में न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज का इस्तेमाल होने लगा है ये जो आज हम जूम पे काम कर रहे हैं जूम पे चर्चा कर रहे हैं ये भी एक मॉडर्नाइजेशन है तो जब से ये मॉडर्नाइजेशन टेक्नोलॉजीज प्रमोशन में आई है प्रिंट मीडिया में इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया में सोशल मीडिया में तो इससे भी बड़ा कमाल का रिजल्ट आ रहा है तो आज ये चार सेक्टर जो थे एजुकेशन प्रैक्टिस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड प्रमोशन तो चारों में मॉडर्नाइजेशन का बहुत रोल है और हो रहा है आज के लिए इतना ही धन्यवाद धन्यवाद बहुत खूब बहुत खूब आपने बड़े संक्षिप्त में बड़ी सार गर्वित बातें कही एक्सीलेंट एक्सीलेंट ग्रेट सर I will definitely invite Mutappa ji. Only two speakers are left, so I would like to invite now Dr. Ramdas because he was also revolutionary on that day, and this webinar is really conceptualized due to his sentiments and his views. I welcome him for his revolutionary views. Welcome, welcome, Dr. Because your views cannot Good be ignored. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, actually, many many have discussed now. When we speak about modernization, very important thing that we have to first to keep in our mind is whether our BMA students actually they are going to become the doctors. They are going to check that one. After that, how many of them are going to apply for uh, PG? and how many of them will become researchers it's a big question over there so big percentage is going to become vaidyas that means doctors if you wanted to make the ayurveda reach to the public first the bma student should be up to the standard of his education when he comes out of the institution this is the very first thing that we should to keep in our mind so again i am sticking into the point when you teach the concepts the concepts should be taught in such a perfect way where the student should be able to get at least 60 to 70 percentage in his education life remaining he should be able to get when he start his practice suppose one example simply one example yesterday when i was reading ashtanga hridaya in uh, our uh, what will call ruducharya they are the grishma ruducharya ब्यूटिफुल मीनिंग ऑन इट दट वन इवा वर्ड इज यूज देर बिकॉज द सूर्य डज नॉट हैव एनी रोल ओवर यू यू कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग विद द सूर्य कर्ता ही इज द पर्सन हु इज टेकिंग द स्निग्धता फ्रॉम योर बॉडी यू कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग विद दैट वन सो समक्षिवदि एज इफ ही इज टेकिंग ही डज नॉट वांट टू टेक इट विद यू बट एज इफ ही इज टेकिंग द श्लेष्मा इटसेल्फ इज क्षिपदि क्षिपदि इज कर्मणि प्रयोग द श्लेष्मा इज फॉलोइंग डाउन एवरीबॉडी विल से दैट इन ग्रीष्म ऋतु द रूक्षता इज इंक्रीज्ड यू सी श्लेष्मा इज एक्चुअली व्हिच गुणा It comes if you say the pichila and uh, so the guna will come. Its opposite is khara actually. It is not ruksha, and it is falling down itself because of the karma that which is happening. So sun rays is falling or not? It automatically happen over in the body because of the karma. So what is the difference between karma and kriya? The child should know. Everybody action action they translate it in English. What is karma? Kartavyasya kriya karma is the definition given by Charaga. Why he gave such a definition for kartavyasya kriya karma? Then what is the difference between kriya and karma? He added one kartavyasya kriya. Why that is? So this thought has to be there with the child. Kriya and karma are not same. Lot of differences in that one. It has to be studied. It has to be taught to the child. karma is going to be a long process because kartavya you should do something up to that whatever be the kriyas are happening it may be a collection of kriyas it may not be a single kriya so in a karma by observation there will be some kriya by 
not being observed, it should be taken in inference. Some kriya will be taking place. All these things will be there in the karma. So you are supposed to go through the terminology in such a deepest way. And in another book, the same thing. There khara is actually. If you see the khara, you can find out the friction increases actually in Grishma. They're not like the uh, khara comes means all that oiliness that which goes and the friction increases, the damage is different. The ruksha damage is different. And in the same Arunadatta is giving, here Snigdada is meant for Tejo Belam, like this he is giving. Here Snigdada is not simply Snigdada, it is Tejas and Belam you should take, understand the meaning. You see Tejas where it is going, Belam where it is going. So the concept is something so deeper in that one. And that is one. Another one is, when you understand the rasa, it is pratyaksha. When you understand the vibhaga rasa, it is paroksha. When you understand the virya, it is anumana. What is the difference between paroksha and anumana? You think on it. You teach that theory. This is all very much needed for the child to understand another sloka, another condition. And the same paragraph, Chakravani is saying that first rasa happens, then vipaga. In between virya act, you see, between rasa and vipaga, the virya act. And you should understand it through anumana. Vipaga is karma nishta. You can get it from the karma. That is why it is paroksha, paroksha karma. Rasa is automatically nibadanas. In your tongue, it falls, you can understand. It is pratyaksha. So, Paroksha Pratyaksha, Pratyaksha and Anumana. So, Paroksha Pratyaksha, is it Anumana or not? Then why Chakravani told Paroksha is different and Anumana is different? And again, he himself is telling that Virya happens in between Rasa and uh, Vipaka. So, what is the duty of Vipaka, uh, Virya over there? And it should be understood through Anumana again. See, these are the concepts. Till it is closed, it is not taught to the people to think over it. And we say that we did, we did, we did. You just touch your hands on your heart and say, how many of the scholars would have read one Charaka Samhita from the first chapter to the end with Chakrabani Vyakhyana from continuation and understood the textbook in all its aspects? I don't feel. It's a very tough task. This is what is we are lacking in our education. And we say that that is contradictory. This is contradictory. We did not read complete. Even nobody. If the evaluator is not read, then how the learner will lead? Completely one textbook from the beginning to the end with this logical technology word meaning, its grammar over there, its application over there. If scholars read, I think no need of using the word modernized. It is already modernized. Because it can give interpretation everywhere. You just imagine between Rasa and Vipaga, if Virya happens, certainly the Virya is doing some sort of disintegration over there. That allowed to the Vibhaga of the Rasa. Because if there is no, that is why in Charaga says, first Vibhaga happens, then Samyoga happens. He tells in the first chapter itself. First Vibhaga, then Samyoga. Because your body is already in Samyoga. There should be a Vibhaga in that one. Then only another Samyoga is possible. So maybe the virya is factor for the uh, vipaga after rasa. And when this it is integrated, new product may be producing. That may be the vipaga rasa. So it is modernized. This is what is you are going to do in chemistry also. When there is an element, you make it into molecule, you make it into atom, then only another precipitate will come. You are applying cathode, electricity and etc. over there, electrolysis, etc. It is happening in our body. All these are provided by our herbs. Such a situation is created in the body. So biochemistry is explained over there. Science is explained over there. Everything is there. Only thing is, we did not reach to nearby that one. First of all, our education policy should develop the quality of education and the BMS student while he is completing. You know that Padam Ajariya Davadatte Padam Brahmacharinaha. In that case also, 50 to 60 percent the child should understand when he is completing. Because Brahmachari only for five and a half years. Sab Brahmachari. Ajariya for five and a half years. Still the child has to learn 60 to 70 percent. You just imagine the student who is coming out of the BMS not courage enough to check a patient in his immediate after house urgency. He is not having that confidence. Why he is not having the confidence? Because the learning methodology as well as the things explained in the colleges. We are doing a lot of researches. We have research institutions. 
but whether it is reaching to the right hands, that means the students who are going to become the Vedyas, who are going to directly. So I feel if you take the students to the society, the students will be meeting the people. The student will be seeing the various diseased people. They don't have to see any pathology or anything. So continuously when they see the people of diseased people, they will imagine a lot in their mind, just like Darshana Sparshana Prashnaihi. Darshanam is first hand. The child will understand what is happening. One day, second day, third day, third, fourth day. And the child automatically seeing that patient, he will touch and see. You don't have to teach at all. So provide and see whether all BMS colleges are having enough patients to get. May not be. So the student should come out of the college for getting the patient. These all things, if you provide, I'm telling Ayurveda is going to be learned in a perfect manner. Then we never ask a question for modernization at all. It automatically modernizes. Just like, again, I'm telling Bhagavad Gita or Ramayana or anything. Any century you take that story, it is fit for that. Because it is read and read and read and read and literature studied. The pupil got into the depth of that one. They are able to interpret it. But Ayurveda is not like that. It is still on that one. So many stairs, so far as we have to climb now to reach it. I feel if single-handed all the BMS institutions, if they are coming to the society, providing the students to get more people in contact and that level of, that means Gurugula education, that which we were, that is why they were able to, because they study the language, they study as the darshanas, then they enter into the Ashtanga Hridaya. If you, if you think about the Kerala, big, 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 big Ashtavidya and etc., they will teach Vyagarana, they will teach uh, uh, Mimamsa, Nyaya, Vaisheshika, then only the child will be learned to simply by heart the Ashtanga Hridaya. That is what is. They never say the meaning even. At the end of the Ashtanga Hridaya, the whole textbook studied, the meaning 50 to 60 percent the student says. Teacher is not giving the meaning at all. Why? Because he knows. He's seeing every day the patients. He's seeing every day the textbook he learned. See, first of all, I feel instead of using the modernization, I will say improve the quality of education and make the children reach to the subject. Certainly, we never use. It is updated and it is science. Pure science. Pure science means it is pure science for the human being. And very clear, you, 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 if you want, you can use modern equipments for uh, uh, investigation, et cetera. Okay, fine, you use it, no problem. You just imagine you are grinding a material. You want larger quantity, okay, I agree with you, but you are grinding a material in the rock, that means the old things. You see the medicine that which, how much it comes out. You put it in the mixie and uh, grind it it will get automatically heated and half of the paga will be happened over there. Okay, this is all not possible when we are going for the large quantity. So we are compromising, actually. We are compromising that because we want the larger quantity. And better than, I will say, first we have to protect our plans. We have to protect our quality of education. We have to think a lot behind that which Ayurveda has to live for centuries and centuries and centuries coming. And if it wanted to be globalized, you please keep the research institution outside India and ask them to find out the drivyas available in that places and how it can be used for in the place of Ayurveda in India. Use the methodology over there. Let them prepare the medicine with those drivyas there over there. Then automatically they will start believing. They will not ask you, you please explain with the modern terms. They will not ask. They will get the benefit. When you are benefited, you will not ask questions. So I feel that should be the globalization methodology than spending crores of rupees on the four walls in the name of research. First, spend it for the people who are studying BMS. Bring them out with a good doctors of your college. Certainly, Ayurveda will be wanted by the people. But provided the textbook should be taught in its perfect sense of understanding with the logical thinking, what Suhasar told, Yukti. If you have to apply Yukti, you should know what is the word meant for. And I'm telling you again, Ayurveda people, you can using any English word for the translation. Did any other science will agree, Western agree, physics, one definition. Can you have a right to change a single term in Newton's law? No. But we are changing, we are compromising. 
you know the sanskrit word if you replace by english word it will not be complete how it can be complete it cannot be with that english word you are understanding the textbook that means you are understanding the textbook is not complete so i request promote such an education system first in the hand and next to one bam students they have to reach there they have to understand they will bring the good results in the patients patients automatically comes over there the faith in the science once again will be coming up even cost of the treatment also will be reduced if the bms students are taught properly and research can be done only for the creamy level they can promote those things for the coming up so that way if you are doing that is better investigation modern if you use there are damages because the child will the doctor will lose contact with the patient at all you know if you sit in ragadi rogan satata anushakta they are not telling that jaradi rogan why they are telling ragadi rogan you should have direct contact with the patient by you observing the patient you will understand diseases narayanan nambudri of the uh, vaidya madam etan nambudri the big nambudri used to just simply my mother was just walking through the window he look at her and while she sat he asked do you have pain in your knee do you have pain in your this place by just the way she was walking and her skin colors you just imagine the observation why because they are looking at the patient they know what is happening inside even without any machines there is no scanning but chakravani is telling that vipaka virya is happening in between rasa and vipaka virya is happening how he found out how charaga found out it is observation power i feel this has to be promoted in ayurveda ayurveda will be forever modernized this is my humble view from sanskrit point of view i am thinking a lot on so many words over there thinking a lot on so many words over there there are very beautiful terminologies in sanskrit they have used in such a sense but it has to be unnoted by the people who are knowing sanskrit as well as the science sitting together so unity in ayurvedic colleges unity among the ayurvedic institutions all are very 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 necessary factors now for bringing the ayurveda up than modernizing if you go behind modernizing if you start putting scanning x ray etc etc in the ayurvedic colleges our students will become just like putting the stethoscope around with the fashion they will walk they never touch the patient at all that will not be there that should not be there children should be with the patient that humanity we should not lose in ayurveda this is my humble request i don't know whether i am qualified to say or not i am only a sanskrit teacher even though you are all doctor doctor when you say i just wonder i am speaking all this because of my such a love towards my science my science i will say indian science is such a science such a science so i feel we have to protect ayurveda instead of changing its clothes as modern 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 like that a person who is wearing panjagaja you ask him to wear pant will he become modern his heart is the same so i feel we should not lose the sense of ayurveda it should be promoted it should be stabilized what we can do that we have to do this is the need of the hour to bring protect ayurveda the deepest knowledge is i am telling olden days at least like this vaidya madam like this people were there now they are coming coming children also are doing bms only they are not learning the old methodology so they are losing the quality even we cannot have such a dependent pupil over there now so i request we have to promote the ayurveda in such an area it will be modernized automatically my humble request i don't know whether my words are acceptable or objectable or whatever it may be whether i am qualified to tell also but my feeling i just opened my heart to in front of everybody i hope there is something good you can accept it being elders you can practice in your institution you will find the changes certainly you will find the changes no doubt no sure take care good night हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि ओम एक्सीलेंट रामदास जी एक्सीलेंट ग्रेट आप तो बिल्कुल धुआंधार बैटिंग करके क्या बात क्या बात बेस्ट एज यूजुअल एक्सीलेंट नमस्कार नमस्कार ऑल इन गॉड्स हैंड ओम नमः शिवाय मदन सर रामदास जी थैंक यू वेरी मच एस ऑलवेज वी पुट यू वी थिंक वी पुट यू इन अ डिफिकल्ट कॉर्नर बट यू कम आउट ऑफ इट विद सो मच एनर्जी 
that we find it difficult to believe. What Everything that you have said, as I've said earlier, we have recorded all this, it's all documented. What you have offered us today is very, very important. Simple questions about no, no. the first line of Ashtangaridya, why does he say uh, what they say and have we understood those messages correctly? Have we understood what modernization means? And your point is very important, you know, that modernization can even come from change of perspective, how you look at the what is there already, just a change of perspective can be that modernization. And you have given us all those prescriptions. I'm particularly looking to Agniyotri ji about how we can take this message to many other places. Meenakshi ji is, uh, Nilakshi ji is joining from Guwahati and she is also um, mm -hmm. agreeing completely with your, with your words today. I, I want to say this is the power of the future revolution. There are at least two people joining us today while they are traveling. Ramdas Ji is traveling from somewhere to somewhere we know and the reception has been superb. The second person who is also in a car today is Avdesh Ji. So even when they are traveling, they are giving, inspiring us in, in many different ways. And this is the, this is the future of uh, how we share knowledge, how we connect with people. Pavan Ji, all yours. Hey. Now I would like to request Dr. Alok Sharmanji, Director Ayurved KMC, uh, DMC, NDMC. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Uh, sir, sabhi ko namaskar. Main ja... Haan, sir, aaj jari aapko sakko. Sabhi ko namaskar. Aaj ka topic bada debatable hai ga. हम सबके अंदर जब से हम बीएमएस करने आते हैं पढ़ाई करते हैं प्रैक्टिस करने जाते हैं लगातार द्वंद्व होता रहता है कि कैसे हम मॉडर्नेशन हो कैसे करें मैं क्योंकि क्लिनिकल साइट से हूं तो मैं हमारे अग्निहोत्री जी मित्र ने या हमारे और टीचर्स ग्रुप ने अपने हिसाब से टीचिंग कॉलेजेस के लिए बीएमएस कॉलेज के लिए बताया है एडवाइस कर रहा है मैं ये क्लिनिशियन बताना चाहूंगा जो मेरे एक्सपीरियंसेस हैं अगर आप ये कहते हैं कि क्या मॉडर्नेशन की आवश्यकता है तो मैं बिल्कुल कहूंगा कि मॉडलेशन की आयुष की आवश्यकता है क्या अब ये प्रश्न आएगा आज सुबह ही एक व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में आ, मैंने जब डाला ये आज की कॉन्फ्रेंस का प्रोग्राम तो एक मेरे कहूंगा मित्र ने एक परिचित ने एक ग्रुप में डाला कि साहब ये एंटी आयुर्वेदिक ग्रुप है मतलब बड़ा आराम से कमेंट डाला था तो मैंने व्हाट्सएप पे उनको शेयर करा कि प्लीज अपना अपना इंट्रोडक्शन दें अपने बारे में बताए तो हालांकि उनके एक्सक्यूज भी आया कि साहब मैं आपसे मंतव्य नहीं था तो मैंने कहा दोस्त ऐसा है शाम को आप ग्रुप में आइएगा प्लीज अपने क्वेश्चंस करिएगा कि कैसे ये एंटी आयुर्वेद ग्रुप हैगा जब मैं जा रहा हूं मैं तो प्रो प्रो आयुर्वेदिक हूं अब प्रो प्रो आयुर्वेदिक मैं अपने को बोल रहा हूं अब प्रश्न ये होता है कि प्रो प्रो आयुर्वेदिक को फिर आज मॉडर्न मुल्क की क्या आवश्यकता है आधुनिक मुल्क की क्या आवश्यकता है तो एक बात मैं कहूंगा कि छोटी सी एग्जाम्पल आप सबने कोडक का कैमरा कोडक की रील्स खूब यूज करी होंगी किसी टाइम वर्ल्ड में केवल एक कोडक कंपनी ही जानी जाती थी आ, फिल्म आ, शूटिंग इंडस्ट्री में कैमरा इंडस्ट्री में इस सब के अंदर और आज वो अमेरिका का जो कोडक शहर था वो जीरो हो चुका है क्योंकि वो अपने को अपडेट नहीं करता टेक्नोलॉजी के हिसाब से अपनी जो समाज की आवश्यकता के अनुसार उन्होंने डेवलप नहीं करा था तो कोडक कंपनी का वो शहर भी बंद हो गया जिसने वर्ल्ड को टेक्नोलॉजी दी थी जो है अगर हम आयुर्वेद या आयुष को लेकर के मॉडर्नाइजेशन अपडेट नहीं करेंगे तो रियली हम भी उसी उसमें चले जाएंगे अब आप देखिएगा आप कहेंगे कि आयुर्वेदिक में कमी थी कि साहब आप क्यों ऐसी बात कह रहे हैं फिर अगेन मैं कहूँगा आप देखिएगा वेदों से आयुर्वेद आया चरक शुश्रुत वाग भट्ट लघुत्रई उसके बाद डिफरेंस संहिताएं आई सभी आचार्य लेकर के आए क्या वो आवश्यकता नहीं थी समय के हिसाब से समय समय के हिसाब से आयुर्वेदिक में भी विकास होता रहा है क्या ऐसा नहीं कि आयुर्वेद में विकास नहीं हुआ है वो उस समय का अधिकरण था आज हम इस टेक जो समाज में जी रहे हैं वह एक मॉडर्न मेडिसिन का वर्ल्ड वाइड इम्पैक्ट हो चुका है वहां डब्ल्यू एच का एक इम्पैक्ट हो चुका है हम उसको छोड़ नहीं सकते हम उसको नकार नहीं सकते हम उसका विरोध नहीं कर सकते और हमें करना भी नहीं चाहिए अब ये प्रश्न आएगा कि फिर हम इसका यूज कैसे करें देखिएगा बी एम स्टूडेंट और एम स्टूडेंट और पी स्टूडेंट कॉलेज तक जा रहा है क्या पढ़ा रहा है वो मेरा डिबेट कहने का विषय नहीं है मेरा प्रश्न ये है कि क्या वो क्लिनिशियन बन रहा है 
प्रॉब्लम बड़ी आती है कि वो क्लिनिशियन बन रहा है क्या वो चिकित्सा करने में आयुर्वेद की चिकित्सा आयुर्वेद से चिकित्सा कर पा रहा है तो मुझे कहना मैं संकोच है बहुत बता संकोच भी और और क्या स्पष्ट भी करना चाहूंगा कि आयुर्वेदिक सिद्धांतों से चिकित्सा करना आज बड़ा मुश्किल सा दिखाई दे रहा लोग प्रयोग नहीं कर रहे ये मैं अपने फोर्टी फोर के एक्सपीरियंस के बेसिस पे कह रहा हूँ क्योंकि मैं आज इस अधिकार से ये बात कह सकता हूँ कि मैं मेरठ का जो सबसे बड़ा ढाई सौ टू फिफ्टी बेडेड एलोपैथिक हॉस्पिटल है वहां आयुर्वेदिक एंड पंचकर्मा यूनिट चला रहा हूं अब वहां मेरे सामने बड़े प्रश्न आते हैं एलोपैथिक साइड से कि सब इसमें आपका ट्रीटमेंट क्या है अब देखिए मॉडर्न डायग्नोसिस है मॉडर्न लेबोरेटरी है उनका सब कुछ अपना हुआ है अब एक डिजीज बोल के सडनली फोन करेंगे इंटरकॉम पे कि साहब इसमें आपके पास कोई रास्ता होगा कि आप क्या ट्रीटमेंट करेंगे अब आपने तो मॉडर्न डिजीजे नहीं पढ़ी जाएंगे तो आप उसमें क्या करेंगे तो नेचुरल सी मैं एक बड़ा सिंपल सा कहता हूं कि प्लीज एक बार रोगी से मेरे इंस्ट्रक्शन करा दीजिए रोगी को मिलवा दीजिएगा रोगी को मैं आयुर्वेदिक सिद्धांतों पे आंकलन कर लूं तभी कोई चिकित्सा बता पाऊंगा अन्था केवल आपकी लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट के बिहार पे अगर चिकित्सा बताना मेरे लिए तो संभव नहीं होगा क्योंकि लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट के जिसके बिहार पे वो लोग चिकित्सा करते हैं क्या वो रिलायबल है आवश्यकता तो है अपडेट तो करना है ये बात में एजी क्लिनिशियन कह रहा हूँ नॉट एज ए टीचर कह रहा हूँ तो आवश्यकता तो है क्योंकि आवश्यकता तो मैंने भी यूज करी जब कोरोना पीरियड आया था तो आनंद हॉस्पिटल के अंदर जो कोरोना वार्ड था हम लोग को 55 प्लस को जाना अलाउ नहीं था और आनंद हॉस्पिटल ने कहा कि सब आपको ट्रीटमेंट आयुर्वेदिक करना है इन पेशेंट के लिए जिसको आवश्यकता या एड ऑन ट्रीटमेंट आयुर्वेदिक देना तो अब जाना अलाउ नहीं था पर हमें ट्रीटमेंट करना और मैंने बड़े आराम से हाँ कर दिया उनका एक प्रश्न था क्या आप ट्रीटमेंट कर सकते हैं कोरोना का तो मैंने किया आप लोग ट्रीटमेंट कर सकते हैं एलोपैथिक वाले तो उनका भी जवाब ना था मेरा जवाब भी ना था मैंने कहा देख लेंगे रोगी क्या आवश्यकता होगी तो अब रोगी के पास हमें पहुंचना बड़ा मुश्किल वार्ड के अंदर तो टेक्नोलॉजी यूज करी गूगल डीओ का यूज करा गूगल डीओ पे हम पेशेंट का राउंड लेते थे देखते थे टेस्ट रिपोर्ट आ रही है डी डायमर आ गया सी सी आर पी आ गया फेरिटिन आ गया हर पेशेंट में वो एकदम से सब अब ये रिपोर्ट हो गया अब ये रिपोर्ट हो गई अब ये रिपोर्ट हो गई जो है उसी पे आप ट्रीटमेंट करना है नेचुरली आप जान नहीं रहे पेशेंट देख नहीं पा रहे टेक्नोलॉजी यूज करना है मॉडर्न को यूज करना अपडेट अपने को करना है तो उसी को डी डायमर को उसी सी को उसी को फेरिटिन को मैं खूब पढ़ करके आयु सिद्धांतों पर आंकलन करा प्रयोग करा सफलता मिली तो हमें ये प्रयोग तो करने पड़ेंगे अपडेट अपने को होना पड़ेगा क्लिनिकली जो है अब वही एक्सपीरियंस अगर मैं शेयर करता हूं तो वो बात मेरी सुनी जाती है मानी जाती है अभी रिसेंटली एक हिप रिप्लेसमेंट का केस मेरे हॉस्पिटल का अभी आया कि डॉक्टर साहब ऐसे ऐसे बात है और इस केस में लगातार एक फ्लूड सिक्रेशन होता है हर पंद्रह दिन के बाद हमें वन फिफ्टी फ्लूड निकालना पड़ता है कि आप कुछ कर सकते हैं और कर सकते हैं तो आप बताएं और नहीं तो हमें इसका हिप निकालना पड़ेगा फिर ये है बेचारा पेशेंट बिस्तर पे लेट जाएगा बड़ा अजीब सा पेशेंट था और मैं ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जरी में फर्स्ट टाइम एंट्री करा था मैंने कहा भाई मेरी इस फील्ड में एंट्री नहीं है क्योंकि सच में कहने में कोई संकोच नहीं आएगा तो अब मैंने सिद्धांतों में देखा कि मैं क्या क्या कर सकता हूँ सिद्धांतों से ही मैं गया सिद्धांतों से बाहर नहीं गया आप देखिएगा एक महीने के अंदर थर्ड सिटिंग में उस पेशेंट को कोई फ्लूड नहीं था उसका हिप निकलने से बच गया सिद्धांतों का की उपयोगता है हम उसमें कहीं कम नहीं है आयुर्वेद बहुत डेवलप साइंस है इसमें कोई कमी नहीं है पर हमें मॉडर्न क्राइटेरिया को समझना करना बहुत जरूरी है जब मैं बी एम एस एम पी कर रहा था आप देखिएगा जो मैं सुनता था अपने गुरु लोगों से एक त्रिवेदी जी थे बड़े फेमस जो जामनगर में भी प्रोफेसर रहे थे हमारे कॉलेज में बोलने के लिए आए कि बोले डाइट के अंदर हम विटामिन की स्टडी करते हैं पर हम त्रिदोष के हिसाब से असेसमेंट नहीं करते हैं मैं भी मॉडर्न मेटेटी का वो बीएमएस का स्टूडेंट था मैंने कहा ये त्रिदोष की क्या बात कर रहे हैं विटामिन तो विटामिन होता है सॉरी उत्तर नहीं मिल पाया था पर जब प्रैक्टिस में आए तो मालूम पड़ा त्रिदोष कितना इंपॉर्टेंट है व्यक्ति की प्रकृति कितनी इंपॉर्टेंट है व्यक्ति का देश मतलब व्यक्ति किस जगह का है किस जगह जगह ट्रीटमेंट ले रहा है ये कितना इंपॉर्टेंट है उसकी लाइफ जाना कितना इंपॉर्टेंट है तो ये सब चीज जानना आवश्यक है पर आप कहेंगे इस सबके बाद भी क्या हम मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी का यूज हमें आयुर्वेद में करना चाहिए तो मैं निश्चित रूप से वो करना चाहिए का इस सबके बाद भी और क्योंकि आप आयुर्वेदिक सिद्धांत तो ना भूलें आयुर्वेदिक निदान ना भूलें पर साथ साथ मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी का यूज करना चाहिए क्योंकि <coughs> एक जगह हमारा आयुर्वेदिक क्लिनिशियन फेल हो जाता है हॉस्पिटल के मुकाबले में उनके पास कोई भी पेशेंट आता है तो ऑब्जर्वेशन में डिफरेंट इक्विपमेंट में पेशेंट को लगा दिया जाता है 
ओके okay, बहुत से पेशेंट पेनिक होते हैं वातिक प्रकृति के बहुत अधिक पेशेंट होते हैं नेचुरली आप सभी जानते होंगे और पेनिक पेशेंट को अगर आप हॉस्पिटल में शांति से साथ लेटा दें उसका मॉनिटर कर लें तो वो ऊपर को बड़ा कंसोल महसूस करता है वो कंसोलेशन देने का भी तो विधान होना चाहिए हमारे पास तो ग्लूकोज सलाइन लगाने का विधान नहीं था पर आप देखिए ग्लूकोज सलाइन को आज आप मॉडर्न मेडिसिन मानते होंगे पर मैं आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन मानता हूँ हर वातिक कंडीशन में भ्रम या कोमा जो भी कंडीशन है या भ्रमित है <coughs> सॉरी उसमें आप मधुर लवण रस का प्रयोग करते हैं आयुर्वेदिक पर्पज से तो क्या ग्लूकोज सलाइन में आप विटामिन सी जो सही जो दे रहे हैं वो आप कौन से रस प्रयोग कर रहे हैं हम जितनी भी औषधियां हैं मॉडर्न मेडिसिन की अगर वो आयुर्वेदिक क्राइटेरिया में फुलफिल करती हैं कि कोई वो अन्य व्याधि नहीं बनाएगी कोई वो उपद्रव नहीं करेगी अगर हम कोई सी भी मेडिसिन ले लें और कोई सा भी एंटीबायोटिक ले लें अगर इस क्राइटेरिया पर हम फुलफिल कर ला, ला सकते हैं तो हम उन औषधियों का निसंकोच प्रयोग कर सकते हैं यही मॉडर्नाइजेशन है पर ये सोच तो हमको बनानी पड़ेगी अगर ये सोच बना के नहीं चलते हमें दूरी नहीं बनानी हमें नजदीक जाना आएगा अब आप दूसरा एग्जाम्पल बोलू आईसीयू के केसेस हम आईसीयू में मोस्टली फेल होते हैं ये मैं स्वीकार कर रहा हूं पर अगर हमारा पेशेंट और हमारा चिकित्सक आईसीयू में जाता है विद कोशिश अगर वो अपने आयुर्वेदिक सिद्धांतों में निदान करने की कोशिश करता है तो बहुत सी आंखें खुल जाती हैं बहुत से एक ऐसी चीजें मिल जाती है जो आप कल्पना नहीं कर सकते आज ये हालत हो चुकी है उसी मॉडर्न हॉस्पिटल में लोग जब एलोपैथिक प्रैक्टिस मॉडर्न मेडिसिन प्रैक्टिस जब मुझसे शेयर करते हैं तो यार आपकी टिप क्या है मैंने कुछ ली यार बातिक प्रत्येक कफत पर क्राइटेरिया एसेस कर लो एक सिंपल सा भी यूज कर लोगे तो भी आपको सफलता मिल जाएगी मेडिसिन जो दे रहे हो दे रहे हो मेडिसिन इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है ओके मेडिसिन के बाद आज मैं काटूंगा अभी एक स्वीडन वाली कॉन्फ्रेंस हो रही थी तो मैंने भी क्वेश्चन डाले थे स्वीडन वाले बोले कि सब हम ये ये हर्ब्स ये ये हर्ब्स ये ये हर्ब प्रयोग करते हैं तो मेरा क्वेश्चन आया कि सिद्धांत क्या है उसका हम हर प्रयोग तो करते हैं सिद्धांतों को आयुर्वेद सिद्धांत की मेडिसिन आयुर्वेद कोई हर्बल मेडिसिन नहीं आएगा हर्बल ट्रीटमेंट नहीं आएगा अभी पिछले कुछ वर्ष पूर्व एक जर्मन से मेरे मित्र जो वहाँ प्रैक्टिस करते थे हमारे यूपी इंडिया के बी एम थे अभी उनकी डेथ हो गई है एक उनका बड़ा वहां से मैसेज आया कि यार डॉक्टर साहब ऐसे से बात है जर्मन के अंदर एक डॉक्टर है एलोपैथी का उसने लिफ टू के ऊपर एक बुक लिखी है और वो ये कहता है कि इसलिए ये डेंजरस मेडिसिन है ये कोई ना खैर वो बुक जर्मन में काफी पॉपुलर हो रही है और हम लोगों की प्रैक्टिस में फर्क मिल रहा है तो जर्मन में उन्होंने जो बताया मुझे जो उनकी सूचना थी कि साहब लोग ड्रिंक काफी करते हैं और इंडिया से सीधा लेफ्ट टू मंगाते हैं और यूज करते हैं अब वो बेचार डॉक्टर चल गया उसकी तो प्रैक्टिस कम हो जाएगी उसने अगेंस्ट लिखा तो मैंने क्या वो बुक दिखाओ मेरे को कि बुक में लिखा क्या है तो मैंने ये देखा उस बुक के अंदर उस डॉक्टर ने लिफ टू के हर इनग्रीडियंट्स की अलग अलग पोस्टमार्टम करा था कि इसलिए ये नुकसान करता है तो बोले इसमें आपका क्या वो होगा आप चलिए जर्मन थोड़ा सा आप हमारी वकालत करिए अरे मैं वकालत तो ही सुन लीजिएगा हम लिफ्ट में एक इंग्रेडिएंट एक इंग्रेडिएंट्स यूज नहीं कर रहे हम कॉम्बिनेशन यूज कर रहे हैं हम कॉम्बिनेशन का रिजल्ट देख रहे हैं हम उससे ट्रीटमेंट कर रहे हैं हम सर्वाप्ति विक्टन कर रहे हैं अगर आप खाने के अंदर लाल मिर्च का दिखाए लाल मिर्च नुकसान करेगी हल्दी ऐसे नुकसान करेगी और मिला जो कॉम्बिनेशन बनता है संस्कार जो औषधि बनती है ये आहार बनता है वही तो इम्पेक्टफुल होता है तो इस ढंग से अगर हम चिंतन नहीं करते हैं और साथ ही जो मेरा लास्ट सोल्यूशन ये होगा हमारे प्रैक्टिशनर जो पढ़ करके आ जाते हैं उनको ऐसी जगह जाने दिया जाए ऐसी जगह जाके बैठें ऐसी जगह सीखें कॉम्प्लेक्स महसूस ना करें कि साहब हम आयुर्वेदिक वाले हम आयुर्वेदिक वाले बहुत कुछ करते थे अपडेट क्यों करें हम आप ये ये रेडियोलॉजी का जितना भी डिपार्टमेंट है उनका क्या वो तो फिजिक्स वालों ने डेवलप करा था हम क्यों नहीं यूज कर सकते उसका असेसमेंट के लिए एक्सप्लेनेशन के लिए क्योंकि आज मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी को हम नहीं समझेंगे मॉडर्न इक्विपमेंट हम यूज नहीं करेंगे तो पब्लिक के नियत जो आम जनता है उसके जो क्वेश्चन हम सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर सकते हम केवल श्लोक बोल के उसको सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर सकते श्लोकों को जानना बहुत ही आवश्यक है निरुक्ति व्युत्पत्ति संस्कृत के आयुर्वेद के हर शब्दों की बड़ी आवश्यक है बहुत एक्सप्लेनेटरी है कहीं कमी नहीं आएगी पर हम अपनी साइंस को साथ लेते हुए साइंस के आयुर्वेदिक सिद्धांतों को साथ लेते हुए मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी को यूज करें उसका एक्सप्लेनेशन दें और प्लस रिसर्च लेवल पे हम उसको प्रूव करके इंटरनेशनली डॉक्टर डॉक्टर स्वास्थ्य इंटरनेशनली पब्लिश कर रहा है मदन जी हमारा काम कर रहे हैं तो इस काम को इंटरनेशनली पब्लिश करें उनको समझाएं तो रियली एक अच्छा कार्य होगा ये आयुर्वेदिक का मॉडरेशन होगा आयुर्वेदिक से यूनानी का एक विकास हुआ सिद्धा 
अभी जैसे हमारे मदन जी ने कहा कि सिद्धा का कोई नहीं है आपकी सूचना के लिए कि मैं डायरेक्टर आयुच रहा तो मेरे पास सिद्धार्थ डिपार्टमेंट भी था यूनानी भी था होम्योपैथी भी था उस नाते से प्रतिनिधित्व तो मैं कर रहा हूं पर सिद्धांतों की बात है तो वो एक हमारा विकास क्रम सिद्धांत सिद्धार्थ सिस्टम मेडिसिन डेवलप हुआ तमिलनाडु केरला के अंदर जाकर के जो है क्योंकि वहां आवश्यक अधिवाद व्याधियों के लिए यूनानी डेवलपमेंट हुआ उधर आकर के होम्योपैथी अलग होम्योपैथी थोड़ी हमारे साथ उतनी नहीं है पर तिब्बती तो थोड़ी हमारा ही पार्ट है जो है डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेज तो है पर हम उनके लिए अगर विद मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी हम यूज करते हैं तो हम इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म पे एक अच्छे प्रेजेंटेशन करेंगे और क्लिनिशियन के रूप में ये बात मैं कर रहा हूँ एज ए चिकित्सक की मैं ये बात शेयर कर रहा हूँ अपने अनुभव को और यही मेरा अनुरोध है धन्यवाद हेलो जी थैंक यू बहुत बढ़िया जी आपके जो पॉइंट यू है डायलॉग जो होनी है द डायलॉग द circle of the dialogue has increased ab the dialogue is happening pura duniya mein chal raha hai world wide web ha ab unke liye shayad unke liye shayad kuch aur dena padega shuruaat se naturally shuruaat just to get the dialogue thoda sa wo stability aane ke liye ji dialogue hamare i'm just going to take a few minutes uh, alok ji ki तीन चार स्लाइड दिखा के थोड़ा सा ये बात को थोड़ा आगे बढ़ा रखे लिए कि एक आ, हमारी द फर्स्ट स्लाइड इज अगेन अबाउट दिस इंटरनेशनलाइजेशन जो दुनिया में जो बातचीत जो चल रहा है जी उसके बारे में थोड़ा ये है ये दो दिन पहले का न्यूज है कि कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव्ड डब्ल्यू एच ग्लोबल सेंटर फॉर ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन अंडर आयुष मिनिस्ट्री ठीक है जामनगर में आएगा अब यहाँ पे देर इज समस्या कि दिस इज फॉर द होल वर्ल्ड पूरा दुनिया के लिए वी डोंट एक्सपेक्ट द होल वर्ल्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड आयुर्वेद निरुक्ति या ऑल दो डीप कॉन्सेप्ट कैसे ले चले इनके पास दुनिया की मान लो अफ्रीका से आया कोई कि बताओ भाई क्या है चीज आपने शुरू कर दिया डब्ल्यू एच ओ का ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन प्लीज टेल एस हाउ टू एंगेज विद दिस वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड सैंस्क्रिट एंड टेल एस हाउ टू अब फॉरेन मिनिस्टर जयशंकर जी इज सेइंग वी विल प्रोवाइड राइट हैंड साइड में वी विल प्रोवाइड लीडरशिप ऑन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन रिलेटेड ग्लोबल हेल्थ मैथर्स and extend support to member countries in shaping policies related to research practice and public health Uh, the problem here is kai say how to take the depth of um, uh, jwara chikitsa to somebody who doesn't even know what is the principle of jwara so there is a problem here and i think some of that question about modernization is to address these points ki we need to open a dialogue kai say kar rahe hain how do we open this dialogue i think suharsh ji has will will add to this i think when we come to him for some comments acha so this is the ongoing context india has taken a very strong position in the global health arena dusra cheez many of the points that we are discussing is happening thoda sa ye bhu mein ek ayurved network hai wahan it's called the pm m m n m t t mission pandit madan mohan malviya national mission on teachers and teaching uh, ministry of human resource development government of india ki so this is the website niche jo hai ayurveda network bhu.com agar iske andar thoda dekho if you look inside here you will see many issues that are raised here that i that in ayurveda that need urgent attention it says ayurveda is an ancient medical system that has to be taught by supplementing with contemporary knowledge so ek to ho gaya we have appreciated this from many of the contributions today that we can supplement it with contemporary knowledge whether it is new markers and the second point here so in in the first point what ramadas ji is saying is don't dilute we cannot dilute this don't distort the knowledge don't dilute the knowledge it is a very deep knowledge with very deep principles and we have to stick with that number two second point is it's a service oriented science yes it is that is alok ji ne jo bataya it is a clinical thing you know there are many aspects of which you can use every day and the complaint here is the present curriculum has failed in translating knowledge into skills yes and i think everybody will 
uh, would agree with this. Uh, this is not anti-Ayurveda, Alokji. No, no, no. We are not an anti-Ayurveda group. We are just identifying the problems and trying to make them, trying to see how we can solve this problem. So this is one problem with the curriculum. This has been discussed before. And it needs to be transformed from the present theory-based one to application-oriented one. I think Ramadas Ji has touched on this point that in fact, if you go deeper into the theory and understand the principles of Sanskrit, then you can apply it more confidently. If students can understand the deeper aspects of the theory, then the confidence comes to be more application oriented. And Ramadas Ji and several others here have called for students being exposed to aspects of rural health, et cetera, et cetera. Thesery point. Uh, the science of Ayurveda has evolved through experience and observation of thousands of years. Yes, we accept that. This needs to be demonstrated in actual practice. I think, Alokji, you will agree with me here, and everybody else will also agree with me. The present curriculum has failed to address this problem. Yes. This, this has also been touched on in our uh, uh, previous, um, uh, uh, several previous discussions. The present curriculum has not given adequate space to incorporate newer health challenges, TK, drugs, pharmaceutical advance, diagnostics, therapeutic modes. I think what Harish Ji is saying is let us see where we can learn. Lakshanayam, the different Lakshanas, you know, we were discussing with Tapanji ki rasadatu ki, rasadatu shaya ki lakshanayam kya. No, every student must understand this. Every student must know it. Every practitioner must know this. So there are some questions here. Please visit the Ayurveda Network website, BHU, and you will see. Now, I put this here because Shantalaji is here working very closely with Arogya Bharati. And this is a concept of Swastya Gram Yojana. Uh, uh, this is very important because a 10-point plan has been developed by Hitesh Janiji in Jamnagar. And we need to understand how to bring this to the to, to, to realize this, the practical aspects of Swastagram Yojana. And what are those points? What is it that true Ayurveda can offer? And what is it that uh, we need to improve in terms of education, in terms of practical experience, etc.? And all this fits in a bigger canvas, which is being labeled the fifth industrial revolution, where information is what is going to be shared. And our key point, you know, Sweden Valley, what you said is very important that we don't need to bring plants from Sweden here, but use our knowledge, Dravya Shastra ki knowledge, use karke, understand these things, understand the deep principles there. And maybe this is what we are approaching now. Very quickly, we will reach that point where a lot of early discussions will go on to share a lot of insight, a lot of knowledge can be shared online with people around the world. And I think, I hope this will be one important aspect of this global center that is coming in Jamnagar and also with uh, colleagues from BHU and Uttarakhand and other locations where we will engage at flow of information. People can ask questions without having to visit us to understand what is Jwara Chikitsa, but try and ask those questions online, connect like in this platform and find out more. This is the future of things. And I feel from the DNA biology side that I talk about, I always use this contemporary Rishi. I call him a Rishi, Sidney Brenner. He's the man who solved the genetic code. And Sidney always used to say that the, just like in Charaka Samhita, Sidney does, didn't know anything about Charaka Samhita. He didn't know about Ayurveda, but his, like a Rishi, he saw the truth. And just like in Charaka Samhita, it says that the endless quest for knowledge will continue as long as humans exist. And Sidney used to say that we have to teach biologists another language. I have shown you what the genetic code is. I have shown you what is the uh, developmental biology. I have shown you many things. And he says, we need, we have come to the end of this long journey. Next year is the 70th anniversary of the discovery of the structure of DNA. And 70 years is a long time for a theory. And uh, the time has come to change that thinking. And I have felt my reason for being Ayurveda is that Ayurveda is a, such a complete body of knowledge. It is that language. There is a language inside. There's a grammar inside. There's a syntax inside. Yes, if you understand the language of Sanskrit, you understand how to unpack that knowledge and how to appreciate it better. 
So if Sidney were alive today, he's uh, passed away two years ago, he would have said, okay, maybe that is the language we want, the language of Ayurveda, and it's the language for teaching biologists and also doctors. So I feel from somewhere here will come the new formula, and the new formula, I feel, is the formula of a research-led approach. Research matlab, looking at 100 people's tongue, tongue diagnosis itself could be research. Understanding a little more deeply about prakriti could be research. Understanding lakshanas could be research. So it doesn't have to be completely blood analysis, but if you can find a correlation between Rasadatu Shaya, some Lakshanas that are written in the textbooks, and some molecular marker. Vishnu Priyaji is not here with us, but she always says, let us use some biomarkers also. If we can take that biomarker, that biomarker is culture neutral. It doesn't need a language. It can be used anywhere in the world. It can be used in Uzbekistan. It can be used in Morocco. It can be used in Congo, if they can understand. And from that, I think they will be drawn towards the principles. When we say in our system, we have seven datus and there is datu shaya. There is the concept of ama. And this is what we mean. This is not everything, but this is a window for you to come into our science. Come and learn our science. Come and learn how we understand plants. Alokji, aapki baat jo bataya ki Sweden wale, you have herbs there also. You also have plants there. But what is the logic you are using to understand those herbs? There is no logic there. While we have uh, the, the entire Dravya Gun Shastra, we have no how to connect it to gunas. We know how to use the guna waste approaches to manage another concept and so on and so on. So there is a very beautiful interlinked logic. And I feel there is immense scope for opportunity for a dialogue with, with some modern tools, modern biology. But I'm also the first one to say that we should not compromise on the quality. We must not compromise. We shouldn't dilute the knowledge. Ramadas Ji is the first one who takes us into the depth of every word that is there. You know, Today, he gave us an example of one uh, aspect of treatment of, of uh, Ritucharya. And Ritucharya itself is a big domain. In, of, it's so important. People are now, today, uh, there was somebody calling from Brussels saying, you know, my skin is itching a lot. And if you look in our Samhitas, I think this transition of the change from one season to another is a very important point in where the body's physiology is readjusting. Your skin might feel dry. What will you do for this? There may be simple interventions. There may be simple, simple answers to these questions, but deeply embedded in deep physiology. And that language is already there in our text. If we are not able to convey this, then that is our error. We need to find a way to be able to take people to the depth of what we mean by Ritu Sandhi. How to look at the moon and realize which, which Ritu you are and when the Sandhi begins. This is all described in our concepts. What is to be done for the six Ritus? What, is the, what do you have to do to readjust the body's biochemistry and physiology to these things? So I'm, I feel that there is an opportunity for interactions, but there must be a way not to dilute this knowledge. Don't distort the knowledge, don't dilute the knowledge. These are two expressions that I am borrowing from uh, the words of Harishji. You know, Harishji is always, when we talk in the evening almost every day, he says, you know, this is the problem. We cannot distort the knowledge. We cannot let the knowledge to be diluted. If it requires understanding of Sanskrit, then we need teachers like Ramadasji, who will take us to the depth of every word and how to understand the concepts that needs to be done. So with those few words, I'm going to stop here and we open this floor for discussion. There are a lot of comments that are coming to the chat box, as you can see. I wanted to offer the floor uh, the, to do it a little more systematically. Please raise your hand 
there is a raise hand option on yes. the bottom part of the thing. And if you raise your hand, then we can progress. Then the raise hand option will arrange this, the, the, the raised hands. So the first one we have Abdeshi. Abdeshi, Namaskar, Lekta. One speaker uh, is left, sir, Dr. Jayesh Thakkar. JSG. So JSG is here, followed by JSG, then Abdeshi. JSG, Namaskar. Uh, namaste. Uh, sir, few minutes. Please. Dr. Audis Pandeji is also waiting and we have got a wonderful please, please. discussion going on. So being invited and being part of this IRES, Independent Research Ethics Society, I would like to share a few of my ideas. These ideas are collection of all these webinars I have been with. And being a learner, a practitioner, and I would first like to thank all the earlier speakers for opening up new dimension of discussion. I'm a little, but little big, I want to say. Very firstly, how to modernize Ayush? This has been today's topic. My question here, I'll be a little different. Why modernize? What do we mean by modernize? Modernize se kya matlab aa hai? Kya modern science, technology? Modern science means Western science. What are we looking as standard? What is our standard? If you look, my background, if you are thinking from Ayurvedic point of view, you will think it as a Panch Mahabhut. All the Panch Mahabhut are there in my background. The sun, the wind, the air, you can see everything. And if you think from art point of view, you see a beautiful picture behind. So this is what my first question is. What do we mean by modernized? What are we looking at standards? When an Indian, some of my batchmates, when I started studying BMS, some of them left and went to foreign country for study. As we know now, there have been Indian students studying MBBS in Ukraine. So there are people from Russia who went to study in Russia. Do they go there and study their language first? Yes, they have to study Russian. They have to study the language of the country there to which they go to study. Then when we are into Ayurved, the Sanskrit, why is it being neglected? Why is our backbone being disconnected? And why are we looking at the other standard? Now, coming when we convert Sanskrit into English, the last day only one of our respected speaker was saying, Vignan is Vises Gyan. And when we convert Vignan as science, we are limiting ourselves. So here is, as a BMS practitioner and as a BMS student earlier, we learned Ayurveda is Saswat. So I would like to say it's not modernizing Ayus, it's actualizing Ayus. It's sync. When we get a new mobile set, handset, we like to sync with all our emails and all our uh, apps and programs. So I will rather say it's actualizing Ayur, Ayurveda, it's sync, it's acceptance. What we are missing is acceptance. Why is Ayurveda not being accepted? It's because of the principle, the myth, the propagandas of pseudoscience, business and whatever. Coming to principle, the basis is different. We cannot fit a circle into a triangle. We cannot go other way also, fitting a triangle into circle. So here it comes. We have to stick with our basics. Now, how can we? We are not able to get the acceptance with the public, with the people, because they have not studied the basics of Ayurveda. So each one needs to teach one. If all of us teach everyone, the change is actually going to come. And the acceptance will be coming. So here is what I want to say, that probably... With the sanskar have been there in the Ayurveda text. With the time, with everything, there have been a sanskar. So, and the principle of Ayurveda, which strikes me in my practice also, is the balancing act, the middle path. We have to choose the middle path. Technology, to what extent? To a middle path. It's not that Nari Pariksa machine we get and we depend fully upon it without checking with our manual options, without going through our the Prakriti and all the Parikshas. And we need this acceptance because to collaborate with people of other science. Today, the MBBS people works with biochemists, with biotechnologists, with all other fields. But an Ayurveda people cannot work. And it's very practical. I cannot write X-ray of, uh, I cannot write X-ray of uh, in Sanskrit term. Because the acceptance is not there. Now, I cannot say that uh, you have a pain in your udar. Though everybody in our India, Versus Lambodara, but the meaning that the Ganesha, the Lamba Udar, 
this is not very much to our basics. So here the technology and everything, what the department and the discussion we had, it should be something as a middle path so that, and I don't want to be orthodox also. With time, we come to train, buses, uh, bullet trains, flights, and everything has come. I cannot say you move on with the bullet cart only. We have to change with the time. And at the same time, I cannot say you remove the engine of a train and fit a bullet cart in the front of it and let, the, let it run by a bullet cart. So the thing is like that, the middle path without being orthodox, but it should be something like modern idea with ancient tradition. And this is the update or the sync which we need. And instead of making everybody, the other people and all happy and making ourselves less happy, compromising with our idea with principle, I would like to say, let's teach everyone our science, stick to our principle, choose the middle path, make a balancing act, update, think and actualize our science. That's the little thing I would like to say. Thank you for inviting me. Namaste. Jayashi, thank you very much. I like your example of uh, the need to move with the times. You know, but we need to move with the times that we have now reached. It's just like saying we are still stuck in the time of landline telephone when we have mobile phones. You know? So sometimes that shift needs to take place, but the conversation is still happening and our information is being shared. Please stay with us while we move to... I, I wish to bring a new person to our platform, Muttapaji. Muttapaji, namaskar. And following Muttapaji, I would like um, Avdesh ji, who was, who was here with us. Muttapaji, namaskar. Namaste, you are also Namaste. traveling today. You are in a car somewhere. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Namaste to all. Uh, just I want to say uh, on two points uh, here. Uh, uh, as uh, Ram Desuji is uh, telling that uh, we have to modernize in the sense of uh, adopting as it is uh, what is told in the textbooks. So one example I want to tell uh, the, to the platform is, uh, if we see, for uh, example, Vata Vyadi in Charaka, uh, he tells that Ruksha, Sita, Alpa, Lagu, etc. as Nidanas. So our students ask me uh, to the teachers that, how this is Ruksha Ahara only is going to, if you take an example out of that, only Ruksha Ahara Vihara, Ruksha is going to cause 80 Vata Vedis. How it is possible on what basis? Because some diseases are in the ankle, some diseases are in the head. Vata Vedi, if you enumerate, atwa, if you see the pathology, but still we get the disease. So for that purpose, what I uh, understood is, so if you think of, the vata which is involved out of that 80, uh, 80 vata vedis, panchavatas. So, if we identify panchavata chikitsa, for example, apanavata is there, he told the chikitsa for apanavata impairment is pragbhakta. If we take ruksha ahara vihara in the time of pragbhakta, so that nidana is going to cause the pathology in the apanavata area only. So if you understand this one, because uh, these are only the such nidanas, but going to cause 80, but it is very difficult to understand. That's why we are vague in understanding that Ayurveda is this much only. We are not too specific. So if you make that one as specific, so we have to understand this Panchavata concept and thereby 80 Vata Vedis and only the a single 12 line quotation for Vata Vedi Nidana. So this can one of the understanding we can do, understanding it, 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 it the Nidana, whatever Ayurveda is, in its deeper extent to modernizing it in the sense of proper understanding. Number two is the Chikitsa aspect. Chikitsa aspect is we can reduce the drug dosage or by improving drug delivery system. For example, Aushya Shavanakala. So if you if we stick to the Aushya Shavanakala properly, for example, once again, going to Apanavata only, if we give a particular medicine at the time of Apanavata Vikruti, for example, Prag Bhakta, we are minimizing drug dumping into the body. So we are minimizing and we are very specific that target pathology or target tissue treatment. So in this way, so we can make the understanding of Ayurveda too specific to the uh, pathology concern and the, in the aspect of the treatment. So this is one understanding what I want to tell. Number two is, uh, for example, one uh, uh, Pakshagata Chikitsa, 
so in uh, charaka tells that sneha svedana sneha sanyuktam pakshagata virachanam vagavata tells snehanam sveda sanyukt sneha pakshayuktam pakshagata virachanam shushru tells he a uh, four five line quotation pakshagata upadrutam ablana gratram and he tells that trin chatro vamasan upachare so he tells shushruta tells three to four months we have to continuously give treatment for pakshagata patients so we have different opinions so we have to understand them in the aspect of pathology so what we tell as a teacher in the class that this is opposite to this this is opposite to this that that's the, get confusion in the students so outcome is they will not practice they will practice modern so if we are very specific by understanding the pathology of the disease told by respective authors charaka shutwag bata then we can understand that one in the proper way and that can be you know uh, carried out in the practice uh, these two things i want to tell thank you thank you very much sir mutapa ji before you go away a question for you now yes, yes, you sir. talked about pakshagata and uh, confusion in students and you talked also about the at vat vyadis and how to understand the panchavat panchavayus and how to be more yes, specific sir. you know yes do you think if tomorrow you had to teach some aspects of your treatment pakshagata treatment you know to somebody in the middle of africa in nigeria let us say or somewhere in congo they don't even speak english they speak french how will we convey this to them if tomorrow like shantala ji is here professor in latvia i hope she will give us her experience today when she comes on to share she is sitting in latvia and they speak a different language the culture the, the climate is different etc et now if you were to become professor of ayush in algeria or tunisia or morocco where they speak only french and everything is completely different do you think do you feel confident you can teach those people at least a way to connect with your your treatment modality there you know uh, yeah so sir, sir taking uh, my example only because so we came with uh, this education till uh, uh, you know 10th plus sslc plus athwa puc with the understanding of only modern to yeah. give my, our examples only in uh, india only Yeah. so then we rest, you know jump into bms which was not at all uh, knowing a, you know abcd of that yeah. so after you know the teachers told so many things and then we understood now as now we are teaching we come to know that ah, this is the lacunas where we got and we have to fulfill them so i think it is very difficult to un- make them to understand uh, but you, uh, uh, you are then, then uh, dr suvas because he is uh, abroad more and you you sir uh, the, you may be the answer for that but because taking our example only we are unaware of ayurveda before getting into bms so we come to know that one so it is very difficult uh, to understand everybody that uh, yes. what what lacunas are there and the same thing was told by our teachers also this is the, what they understood and they are telling so now i am telling this one because i come across such questions and i getting some solutions here and there by searching So, you were very lucky mutabaji like you were in sdm hasan very big, yes, yes. important college with very very good teachers who had a good understanding so thank you for joining us today thank you, thank thank you, thank you for sharing your thoughts very very thank important the pancha panchavayu and understanding the panchavayu and trying to explain uh, symptoms on the basis of that is a very very important insight thank, thank you for sharing you. please stay with us now so, avdesh ji is here with us who was who was who had raised his hand avdesh ji namaskar for those who don't those who don't know avdesh ji avdesh ji is a modern medicine man he has done his um, undergraduate postgraduate studies and then worked on many aspects of cancer avdesh ji floor is yours thank you very much for being thank with you us. sir <clears throat> at the outset i learned so many things today and in fact that is a big reason why i uh, uh, always try to if i get time even if i don't get time i try to uh, uh, scan through what is uh, happening here the one thing that i wanted to say is the comparison of ayurved with modern medicine ayurved bharat ki nirantarta hai agar 60 60000 years se bharat ki nirantarta rahi hai to ayurved raha hai aur jo nirantarta us samay se leke aaj tak chali aa rahi hai इस पे क्वेश्चन नहीं उठाया जा सकता है और इस पे दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूटी द कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ भारत एंड द कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ आयुर्वेद इज प्रूफ है ना इज प्रूफ है ना 
दैट दिस स्टैंड टेस्ट ऑफ ऑल टाइम आज भी प्रासंगिक है मेरा ये कहने का मतलब है लेकिन If we are discussing this on WhatsApp or on Zoom, the world is not knowing. So you need to have tools to actually tell the world what tools do they understand. What tools they understand is like, for example, small things. You don't need to go for a PET CT scan or a CT scan or an X-ray or a blood test. Simple things like, suppose if you are doing punch karma for a patient or a shirodhara for that patient. or simple things like nadi shuddhi if you are doing for a patient you measure the blood pressure keep the cuff there keep the cuff there measure the blood pressure record it let him do nadi shuddhi measure the blood pressure again hmm. and why don't you publish this because this is a way where you can reduce blood pressure and you will not require any medication i'll tell you how how does the science work here now if you are sleeping you are sleeping like this your head is like this when a pillow is put so there is a kink that you produce in the carotid in the carotid artery that carries blood to the brain mid brain controls your blood pressure so if mid brain is not getting enough blood the blood pressure is going to increase so you just pull out your pillow blood pressure will come back to normal if it doesn't happen check your nostrils if both the nostrils are working you are taking double double air inside if only one nostril is working and one is completely blocked or partially blocked if suppose only one nostril is working you are taking half the air that you are taking in so the blood has to rush and the pressure needs to increase of the blood because this ox this oxygenation that happened needs to reach the tissue level fast so the blood will increase pressure so these are two small things that if it can be done and experimented and published by an ayurvedic doctor trust me it will be a revolution these are small things small steps that can be taken for big big achievements and to make your presence felt so if they are if suppose ayurved should not be scared of anything whatever the test of time it has stood the test of time there should be nothing that you should be scared of the only thing is okay this is your parameter let me see how i fit into it and prove it to you how i can do it better than you is my way of looking at it sir avdeshi thank you i have a question for you thoda sir this will be a question from other people also aapne you have given us one simple example of a non pharmacological intervention ki thoda sa the aspects of blood pressure etc and uh, you have given us that argument how to gather the evidence the there is a little issue of a beaten dog syndrome here itni yeah. saalon se it has been given such a bad press this is what jsg has said which is the image needs to change you know that that image needs to change and so this is why we are very happy that you are here with us because we are getting the perspective and the ways to solve the problem from the modern medicine side uh, you have given us one example i want to just ask you to elaborate a little bit of an internal medicament you know suppose we have a complex formulation do you think the same approach can be used there uh, or if you take a uh, approach like basti can we all follow the same approach there of or course nasya? yes of course of course in fact for nasya or basti basti uh, you mean it is uh, 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 this uh, um, uh, uh, cleaning of the colon yes. or the rectum yes. Yeah. yes so if you are doing that see 50 we know for sure that 50% of the diseases are going to go if the colon is clean we know that for sure so you can actually take this this simple this simple thing and any disease that you are dealing you pick up a disease and you start documenting so you know no. uh, there there are ways how you can actually do it and modern medicine will take notice of it because okay. it is not complete i'll tell you how sir one simple thing corona we saved so many patients to the tune of 60000 60000 is a big number sir 5 10 15 100 1000 
can be 60,000 is a big number. The second wave when so many people were dying, we used just science and common sense. It's like this. Temperature was increased. Why did the body, the most sophisticated device on planet Earth is the body. Why did the body increase temperature? To kill the virus. And what did you do? You are lowering the temperature. Are you helping the body or harming the body? What can fever do? Fever cannot kill you. Fever can cause dehydration. Hydrate the patient. It's so simple. The second step we took was, do you take in, take in oxygen? You take in air. This body knows how much oxygen to be extracted from air. And oxygen favors combustion. You are giving oxygen and are measuring CRP. CRP is bound to increase. Because you aap aag laga rahe hai, oxygen de ke, aap ne air kyo nahi diya. Agar air de te, body would have known kitna oxygen nikala. And why did the body decrease, decrease the oxygen concentration to kill the cell that was infected? And what did you do? You, you, give, you, give, you give oxygen and virus did not kill anybody. It is your own immune system that killed. So you actually overwhelmed the immune system by giving these things. One needs to answer, we just used common sense and science and we saved so many patients. Avdeshi, a question for you. Now, you are, you are convinced and you want to, you are believing in it fully yesterday, day before you talked about the pineal gland and decalcification, etc. This is a question for you in terms of the community, the modern medicine community that you engage with on a daily basis. You know. Do you feel a resistance there? And I'm raising this because we discussed this, that is JHG's comment also. You know, there is a, that uh, uh, perception is a bit jadi booty wala. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, it's Corona it's... actually has tilted the balance. Corona ne actually aina dikha diya hai. Lambi chaudi baate karne wale logon ko aina dikh gaya hai. This is the right time. This is the right time to actually come up with a proposal what you can do actually. Because we are at our wits end. Let me tell you. Hum badi badi baate karte hai. In, in, I'll give you one example without wasting time. 2018, I was in the US in uh, some conference where Sadhguru was also there and uh, our uh, uh, this gentleman, uh, the scientist, uh, what is his name, the next after Stephen Hawking, um, there is a Japanese, Japanese fellow, I'm forgetting his name, Michi Akaku. Michi Akaku was there and he was talking about genetic engineering that now there is a mystery. I was trying to find out if 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 I was trying to Avdeshi, please stay with us because I, I can see Alokji is listening to you very carefully. You know, Alokji is, does a lot of work in Delhi. Mein. Alokji, ji, you have to tell us a little bit what is happening in your mind, what is happening in your mind, Avdeshi. Sir, I agree with Dr. Avdeshi that the patient has so much more than the coronavirus in the coronavirus that we have to put in the high court in the high court that the protocol has come from where the protocol has come from. Why? टेम्परेचर कम कर रहे हैं हाई कोर्ट ने उसको डिसमिस नहीं करा एक्सेप्ट नहीं करा ये वर्ड में कहूंगा क्योंकि साहब इस समय गवर्नमेंट का हुआ है क्राइसिस आ जाएंगे वो अभी भी केस पेंडिंग चल रहा है कि आपने क्यों पैरासिटामोल इतना प्रेस्क्राइब करा गया क्या प्रोटोकॉल था कोरोना में पैरासिटामोल देने का टोटली अग्री में करता हूँ सर जो है और सेम बात ऑक्सीजन दे के जो कोरोना के सेकेंड वेव में बेड नहीं मिल रहे थे हमने पेशेंट को घर पे रख के उसको मेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग करके उसकी पोजीशन से 80 
मतलब उसमें हम आराम से पेशेंट को घर पे निकाल के लेके हेल्दी रिकवरी दे करके जो है ये प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट है जो मेरा भी एक्सपीरियंस है टोटली डॉक्टर पांडे से एग्री करता हूँ हेलो जी थैंक यू फॉर दिस हमारे साथ आज है जी सो मुतफा जी थैंक यू अवधेश जी प्लीज स्टे विद दिस बिकॉज वी विल गेट अ फ्यू मोर थॉट्स एंड यू माइट बी एबल टू कमेंट ऑन दिस आज हमारे साथ है तरलोक सिंह जी तरलोक शांतला जी हैं सर शांतला जी भी आएगा हाँ जी शांतला जी भी आएगा तरलोक जी नमस्कार नमस्कार जी हेलो तरलोक जी नमस्कार तरलोक जी इज नॉट अवेलेबल आई वॉन्ट शांतला शांतला जी नमस्कार जी हाँ नमस्कार सर नमस्कार इट वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू हियर एवरीबडी एंड आई थॉट ऑफ वन स्टोरी विच आई वुड लाइक टू टेल देर इन उडुपी विच इज फेमस फॉर ईटिंग देर आर पीपल सिटिंग एंड डिस्कसिंग दैट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड मल्टीविट means and all that is necessary to be a healthy person so you must have the for breakfast so the cook uh, passing by said that's what we have been doing eating idli uh, protein fat minerals uh, elements everything that we need so it was there uh, as a, a lifetime habit so uh, and coming to what uh, dr madan tangavelu so well presented i was thinking that we should go for not just uh, multi uh, multi centric study it should be like uh, local regional national multinational and it should be continental so if we just take up food why food is different you take 1000 people having different foods they are all very healthy uh, as per ayurveda or as per whatever system of medicine and then you decide what is the food that they are taking it's not the same everybody doesn't eat the same food but still they are healthy so if we give the same type of medicine to everybody then we claim for evidence then how do you expect that it will be happening it is not happening because we have a lot of concepts like desha kala rutu ahara uh, prakriti so many things so ayurveda is very rightly called as uh, a uh, future medicine or medicine of the millennium so genetic variation they have been speaking about not only about human beings about the flora fauna everything climatic conditions all that then we have a lot of research to be doing because we have uh, open options now we should be doing a multi centric multinational study it could be panchamahabhuta study or chaturvimshati tatva study arisha lakshana study which we need to have a lot of uh, research funds for doing all that ayurveda research funds are very bismal it is almost nothing it's very meager compared to what is happening worldwide for the research that is uh, pumped into other things so that should not uh, bring us uh, down as simple things we can do we have been doing research like uh, what uh, dr avdesh pandey sir has been telling yes simple things can be even one case study can be published so see you you have some very important uh, documents like uh, what uh, uh, suhas ji was telling you have hepatitis b treated you have multiple sclerosis being treated you even single case studies can definitely bring uh, people to look uh, say, take a second look at ayurveda so we have to do a lot of research and it should be a very big type of research it should be full full proof research which is accepted globally then i think when students uh, we will get the best students we are not getting we are getting most of the time second hand students like second choice people have second choice of ayurveda so if we have if we can get really brilliant students dedicated to ayurveda then Uh, we will go a long way i think T- teachers job also would be very easy so i think uh, that should be one point which we should really consider 
Thank Shantal you. Ajib, my take home, thank you for this. My take home message, which also resonates with Avadesh Ji's comment. We must start to think about research led teaching and research led training. The research could be simple things that is connected to clinical research. It could be for those who are inclined a little bit of basic research, you know, some aspects of, uh, uh, say, we talked about uh, tongue diagnosis that. Uh, that um, uh, Suhash ji mentioned. It could be very fundamental research. It could go into all those dimensions. I think in reply to Avadesh ji's uh, comment about doing simple studies, Shantala ji, you have given the, given the problem. There has never been enough funding for these kind of things. And it, I think that needs to be unlocked. Uh, your experience in Mysore, we all are deeply appreciative. And now you are seeing firsthand in Latvia, in Riga, how some new dialogues can be enabled. And um, I hope that uh, some change that we want for funding, change that we want for exciting new students, you can, you would have noticed there is a MSc program in Ayurvedic biology that is now started at the transdisciplinary university in Bangalore. So there are things going, but we must not forget to engage with these people, you know, people like Avdesh ji who have uh, experience on, on, on modern medicine and uh, many of those aspects that need to come into this mix. So I feel happy in some way that we are discussing these things. And with senior people like Alok ji, I hope we can take students deep into those principles, the importance of clinical things, clinical aspects, clinical studies, what Ramadas ji is highlighting I think we must challenge our students and make sure that uh, our students understand the deep concepts and they feel confident and they feel proud that they have come to uh, to to come into Ayurveda uh, and that it's a, it's a place full of um, challenges for uh, anybody who is curious. So I think just that image of Ayurveda internally among students that can that needs to change how we do this. Is, uh, is, is still an open question. But I think there is consensus here in today's discussion that we are agreeing on many, many things and we are agreeing on how to have a dialogue, how to identify uh, certain key research areas, uh, simple research projects. I also feel that we need to review all our MD, uh, MS, Theses, you know, uh, so many are submitted in so many institutions every year. Is uh, are we benchmarking this? You know, you have been in Mysore. The question is, are we benchmarking and saying, okay, this kind of research we do not want anymore. We want to start moving in a slightly different direction, and maybe that consensus, maybe this network will give that consensus and also point to the direction where we need to go. And if we take senior people like Avdesh Ji. Uh, then they can also have some input, important input to shape the narrative for the future. You know. My mind is always thinking about this in the context of India now presenting itself in the global arena, saying we have a global center for traditional science. If uh, somebody from Japan or somebody from America now comes and says, well, tell me, what are, you, what are your plans? I think we must collectively have a vision for where things should go. And that vision must be consistent, must satisfy everybody. It must satisfy the policymakers. It must satisfy the government, it, because it's a government-to-government dialogue that uh, that is going to happen. It must satisfy other governments in terms of public health issues, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think senior people like Alokji must all play a big role in making that uh, the, the new the future that we want to have. One I thing can I also to see. Offer, sir. Please, Abdeshi, Namaskar. Please. Sir, I wanted to offer something because Please. there was... Uh, I have my 10 diagnostic centers all, all over North India. I invite all these people who are doing BAMS to actually come and learn what we are doing in diagnostics. And diagnostics, let me tell you, is open for everybody. It is not for modern medicine only. We do so many... Um, so many cases of whole body bone scans in rheumatoid arthritis to actually map the joints. So we can actually teach these people who are doing BAMS. And since I've got 10 
centers, one in Delhi, one in Chandigarh, one in Amritsar, one in Jalandhar, one in Avdeshi. One uh, and everywhere they come to my center and we and we will uh, do it, sir. Thank you, Avdeshi. We take your offer. Let us let us elaborate on this a little bit because there are many uh, Chaudhary Brahm Prakash uh, Ayurved Charak Sanstan in uh, Najafgarh. We will identify Alokji knows the people there. We will identify those people and we will connect with some of the Kurukshetra has the big uh, Sri Krishna Ayush University. We'll connect with the uh, Baldev Dimanji there and we will bring the best students uh, and students who are inclined to make this connection between the modern biology, uh, the modern medicine thinking and, and not to compromise on the Ayurvedic, the, the Shastric knowledge that is there. And we, so thank you for mentioning this. Thank you. We will take, we will take you up on this offer, sir. Thank you so much. This is an excellent, excellent suggestion. And uh, we are grateful that you are willing to accommodate uh, youngsters and teach, show them a few things and teach them uh, how to think in a different way. I, we have a new person, Rashmi Arun. Rashmi ji, namaskar. I don't know if Rashmi ji would like to share a few words. Nilakshi ji is also here. Nilakshi ji, namaskar. Dr. Nilakshi Opi Gupta ji. ji is also with us, sir. Opi Gupta ji, namaskar ji. Namaskar, sir. Achha, Nilakshi ji, namaskar, please. Abkhon, who is talking? Nilakshi ji? Uh, sir. My Nilakshi ji, welcome. Yeah, I, Nilakshi ji, you have heard just now about from Avdesh ji that offer, because in our previous discussions, we've been talking about exciting and getting those young students to engage a little more in this dialogue, you know. Avdesh ji has offered a very, very important uh, 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 opportunity. Do you think our students will engage in this if such things are happening, such things are? Yeah, students will engage. They are very much eager to learn about modern science, modern diagnostic criteria. And they know that if they will have to diagnose any case, uh, they need modern, concept, modern diagnostic tools. So it will help them. But they shouldn't forget the Ayurvedic approach also. This is the other important thing, Nilash. They won't uh, forget the Ayurvedic approach. But uh, since now cases come from modern hospitals, those cases were not treated. So when a case will come and will show the report, so okay. if they were not aware of the test, okay, they will not identify. Then only they will be able to, uh, yeah, to treat the disease. Now, Nilakshi ji, what is your take on today's the discussion today? It's a very broad area. It seems a very narrow theme of modernizing, and there are many perspectives. Where do you think we should go? Uh, today, it was very interesting. Uh, we should follow the Ayurvedic concepts. And we should follow the Ayurvedic concepts, and we should uh, also uh, create avenues, like just as you mentioned, uh, like... If we just see the Rasta Dhatu Kyai, then uh, what can we identify? If we see Rasta Dhatu Kyai, what can we identify? So use the Ayurvedic concept and utilize it in a modern way. Mm -hmm. But do not uh, leave the principles. Very good. I think, th thank you. Thank you for mentioning this. Um, Sunandaji is here with us. I want to come back, Nilakshi ji, but Sunandaji is here. Sunandaji, Namaskar. Sunandaji, Namaskar. If Sunandaji is not there, I want to see if O.P. Gupta ji, Namaskar ji. If uh, O.P. Gupta ji is not here, I would like to just quickly go to Sri E.V. Reddy ji, Namaskar ji. E.V. Reddy, Agar. Dr. E.V. Reddy is not here. Rajanji, are you with us? Rajanji is also missing. No, no, yes, yes, yes. Oh, Rajanji, uh, Namaskar. Uh, I Namaskar. Want, Rajanji, uh, uh, 
अवधेश जी का जो पॉइंट अवधेश जी ने जो बताया कि डायग्नोस्टिक्स की तरफ ही इज ओपनिंग अप ऑल हिज रिसोर्सेस फॉर आवर यंग स्टूडेंट्स और दिस इज अ वेरी वेलकम थिंग आपके मन में क्या है जी इसके बारे में कि यस 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 कि जो भी नए स्टूडेंट्स है उनको जैसा अवधेश जी ने कहा कि सभी चीजें प्रैक्टिकली दिखाई जाए और उनको उसका एक्सप्लेनेशन दिया जाए तो आ, अभी जो परसेंटेज की जो मैं ऐसा समझता हूँ कि हमारे कॉलेज का जो मैं मैं देख रहा हूँ okay. जो 50 परसेंट स्टूडेंट जो आयुर्वेद की तरफ आ रहे हैं तो उसमें परसेंटेज बढ़ जाएगा और उनको okay. ये सब अगर प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच दिखाया गया तो देट इज मोर बेनिफिशियल मतलब कैसे होता है कि सिर्फ शिरोधारा करो या सिर्फ बस्ती दे दो तो बस्ती के बेनिफिट क्या है बस्ती इज नॉट ओनली फॉर क्लीनिंग अवर इंटेस्टाइन तो हाँ तो उसका कोलन सिर्फ क्लीन करने के लिए नहीं है तो उसका पिच्यूटरी ग्लैंड से लेकर के दिमाग तक भी प्रॉब्लम जो है कि जो साइकोसोमेटिक डिसऑर्डर्स वो भी कैसे ठीक होते हैं और उसका मोड ऑफ एक्शन क्या है वो अगर सिखाया जाए उनको प्रॉपरली तो दैट इज मोर बेनिफिशियल तो इसके लिए वो जो अवधेश जी का जो पॉइंट था वो एकदम ही सही है और इसके लिए कुछ मॉडर्न पैरामीटर्स करने के बजाय वो वहां पे उनको दिखा पर आपने जो सिद्धांत है वो सिद्धांत से अगर एक्सप्लेन किया जाए और आज आजकल बच्चों में कैसा रहता है कि मैंने ऐसा देखा है कि उनको स्पून फीडिंग नहीं करना चाहिए उनको एक डायरेक्शन दे करके उसके ऊपर काम करो ऐसा अगर किया जाए तो देट इज मोर बेनिफिशियल क्योंकि स्पून फीडिंग करने से कैसे होता है कि मैंने जो देखा है कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल की अगर गाउट का पेशेंट आया तो मैं उसके लिए त्रिभुवन कीर्ति और अमृत आदि गुगे देता हूँ पर वो अगर अवेलेबल नहीं है तो वहां पे कैसी सोच लगानी है क्योंकि तो वहां पे वात का भी अपने को बैलेंस करना है पित्त भी बैलेंस करना है और कब भी तो उसमें वो वहां पे क्या मेडिसिन जो अवेलेबिलिटी है वो या जो भी चूर्ण है या भस्म है वो क्या यूज हो सकता है ऐसे एक डायरेक्शन उनको देना ये ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ऐसा मैं मानता हूँ तो ये जो मॉडर्नाइजेशन है वो और अच्छी तरह से होगा thank you uh, thank you uh, thank you rajan ji your point is noted yeah we are coming we want to come circle back to the language issue ji language our uh, ramdas ji has put some thoughts here ramdas ji namaskar and i think it is being appreciated by a lot of people here shantala ji also agrees ramdas ji namaskar namaste namaste sir uh, please your point is very well noted for several reasons one uh, the bulk of the knowledge and the bulk of the literature related to ayurveda this in that sir, old in, in sir, uh, sir i will tell you one thing if you go behind bulk it may be bulk but if you go for the concept the basic concept in a very perfect manner if it is there with us certainly i am telling it will be easily understood by any nation in the universe mm -hmm. no doubt because that is a common science that which we are going to explain because you know that if something has to work in somewhere else there should be a disintegration should happen inside the body then only the medicine can do you just imagine if you see the chakravarnis vyakhyana and virya this is only for your understanding i am telling not for the foreigners okay virya virasya bhavam virya he is telling actually when we call a person vira when he attack another person am i right yeah. no doubt in that one. otherwise you cannot call him as brave but you see the guna it is quality in him what is the quality in him that is guna so guna is something that which is there in each padartha or dravya that which you are having but when it act on another situation then it is having virya that is the reason we are calling virya as the medicine because he has to in some plot this is a common science actually if you give a chemi chemical material to a person who is diseased what is going to happen there this chemical material will go there and act whatever be the combination that which is causing the trouble will be disintegrated see it is very simple science why others cannot understand it it can be understood but we are not giving such a things we are trying to explain something more than that for a person a beginner this is more than sufficient they have to believe in it and they have to learn it and they have to come into our science then in detail we will teach them no problem but Ramadashi, if you start ah uh, the question here is 
ah. again, I come back. This is you're pointing to the issue of modernization, where we need to go, which is improve our understanding. It's also modernization. But do not you only feel... that, one, sir. Not only that one, sir. If you are going to explain everything in terms of modern terminology for others, then only they will understand. Then we are just uh, destroying the perfection of the Ayurveda. Of you are not supposed to. They should learn Ayurveda in terms of Ayurvedic concepts. Concept, you can teach them anybody. You may not be able to teach them the Sanskrit depth, of meaning and etc. Okay. But if you have the concept perfectly, you can teach them concept, no problem. That is acceptable to everybody. Ramadashi, I want to come back to that one point that we raised here about the 80 Vatavyadis. And I want to see if you can just elaborate for us just a little bit about yes, that suppose, concept suppose, of Panchavayu. Simply, sir. So suppose uh, you are having COVID, you, COVID attack you, right? When COVID attacks you, you know that it is going to affect your mind in certain extent. You see, if you behind go behind Sadaka Pitta, we can hear them in this. And if you see the pranavayu, you can find out the pranavayu is doing the work of hridaya, chitta, indriya, etc. Right? Yeah. You think of it. So you can think of that pranavayu and sadhaka pitta is affected in the first hand. Pranavayu affected, that's why sadhaka pitta affected because pranavayu is the person who is holding the heart activity because hridaya, indriya, chitta, drik. And you ask the COVID patients, certainly there will be stress level, chitta level. You ask them, you can find out. And hridaya, again, oxygen level, certainly oxygen level can affect. You take pranavayu, so pranavayu and sadhaka pitta, you can beginning. And next step, within fraction of second, it is going to affect so many other things, rektadadu and so many other factors. But within fraction of second, it happens. But the first one is, the pranavayu as well as sadhaka pitta will be affected badly. Then the hard, heart activity, when the uh, sadhaka pitta, because you know well that sadhaka pitta is the thing that through which the neuro, nervous system probably, because abhipradartha sadhanam is the karma of the sadhaka pitta. Okay, so the communication will be disconnected. Then many physiological activities will be damaged. Ramadashi, so I have another question. You are very fortunate to be connected with the uh, Amma's network in Kollam and in Kochi. And in our previous discussions, we have touched on that uh, possibly an integrative uh, medicine center that is, going, that is already in place uh, somewhere. Do you feel that this kind of dialogue is happening there? You know, the dialogue in terms of this deeper, the need for deeper understanding of the uh, final concepts of Ayurveda, do you think it is... I think it is going on, sir. Uh, Dr. Ramanohar, sir, and yes. nanotechnology, uh, sir, is there. They are all sitting together. They are making some new, new material over there using uh, both the concepts in Ayurveda and uh, uh, even biotechnology. They are also joining. It is going on, sir. Actually, it is going on. But I did not involve, literally, I did not involve in anything because I think they are doing it with a conceptual basis. Okay. So it's just to see how we can take some ideas from there and maybe take it to BHU and take it to Uttarakhand or somewhere where we want to expand that message uh, of how to engage with um, uh, the deeper principles. You know, we shouldn't, everybody here is agreeing with you completely that uh, language is important. And what you have told now is that the concepts can be explained and if it is explained correctly, then the overemphasis on that language may not be there. You can still convey the concepts sure, very clearly. Sure. sure. But and the person who is learning Ayurveda here should give emphasis to the language and depth to the subject. Then whatever concept is explained to others, it will be very clear and uh, it will be understood by others. You can use English over there, no problem, but of concept course. will be understood. But if you started translating each sloga and deeper level, laboratory level and etc., it is impossible. Now, before I take easy. the floor back from you, Ramadas Ji, I have a question. This sure. is a personal question. Sure. How did you sure. come into this depth of engagement? Now, you have to tell us all, where did you study Sanskrit? Did you study in... Uh, Trivandrum Sanskrit College, no, or did sir. you study? I studied in... my post graduation and I'm in Calicut University, but uh, I worked in school for eight years, sir. I am from uh, a very low 
middle class economically. I started struggling after my AM Phil. So I was working in Madras and I was working in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh, I became the principal of Chinmaya Mission for four years. After that, when I just started coming for this, because everywhere it is considered as a philosophical language. So for me, it is not only a philosophical language, it is a language of science. I loved that language in that extent. Not simply a philosophical language it is. It is having more than that. So it was my dream. Fortunately, this they called for this Amrita institution called for lecturer. Then uh, I applied for it. Then I sat in uh, Central University Madras for learning Ayurveda. Nearly three to four months I sat there. There itself I started reading the Ashtanga Hridaya textbook and started thinking how can I apply my language into it. After coming here, I got very good platform. My all directors, they encouraged me just like anything. And they accepted me as a teacher and I could get so much position over there. I could do a lot of things for my students. Such a way now I improved I, myself. Now, I know you are from uh, Palakkad, that area. Yes. And there is a tradition yeah. for teaching Sanskrit, learning Sanskrit, even when you are a child. Did you? When did you first get introduced to Sanskrit? Uh, actually, Sanskrit, traditionally, I did not learn, sir. I learned from school education only. But being the Iyer family, little mandras and etc., after my 13th year, I started learning. Okay. So Indeed. there itself, the Kuri started coming. Tell to, uh, At least you should understand the meaning of the sloga. Otherwise, it is not fair to simply recite the sloga. Such a Kuri, that's all. It's only Thank a Jignasa. You know, the, the, the reason why I ask this is because Kerala's uh, proud... Uh, heritage includes Adi Shankara, Adi Shankara Charya and Advaita Vedanta and all those things and understanding of the four Vedas and uh, the different madams in Trishur at the temple, etc. So I'm to happy. Be, to be very frank, I'm telling you, sir, after going to Madras, I started teaching Bhagavad Gita for the students. Wherever we the students want the class, I will go and take. Flat to flat, I will enter and I will teach them. I never uh, collected money or anything because it was a service for me because I learned a lot from it. I learned a lot from it, the language. My you skill see, in language by doing such activities only, sir. The advantage the advantage you have is uh, clearly uh, from many, many threads that have come together to give you a strength that you have and the confidence sure, you have. Sir. Sure, sir. I, Ram last, last question. Are you saying the first time you read an uh, Ayurveda text was after you came to Chennai? Yes, sir. Not before my interview, some 30, 60 days I read the textbook, sir. How many years ago was this? It is uh, 2004. Okay, so your first time you read Ashtangri there was 2004. Yes, sir. sir Sharma, sir, is calling you. I, I know, but Sharma ji has, a, has his hand up. Sharma. Time up. <laughs> I think we are running out. No, no, not, uh, not, not for time, sir. Not for time. Uh, I have also my reserved opinion regarding this please, development please. of Ayush. Because we all are talking about Sanskrit principles. I want to give me, I want to give you one example of myself. My father recited all three Sangeetas and he could refer how much page number, how much slog number. Great, great. Inspi inspired by him, and a grandfather who was Sanskrit Pandit, I learned approximately 10,000 slokas. Right, Great. sir? Great, sir. But I could not have that practice time because of my industry service. Yeah. I am conducting clinical researches on thousands of patients. But I didn't have time to prescribe those medicines because of the company service. Yeah. In our Ayurvedic Please, please, kindly con kindly allow me to continue and come. Please, please. Yes, sir. Please. Yes. So, what we want to prepare, what we want to educate, because every science and every stream is developed according to modern needs. In MD, in MD, if the Begon department is related with some NMPB, SMPB or any CMAP uh, type of uh, things, the person will have the actual guidance on the topic. Rastashtra with industry. Rastashtra and Vaisaji Kalpana. Kai Chikitsa with different specialty of clinics. But those points or those factors should be included in syllabus 
because when our md passed out he is not aware that what is to be done whether he is to start clinic in just this west bengal like state where ayurved is not there in satisfactory numbers so what is the way out whether we should involve the management study in md courses whether we should involve the actual practical applied study for industry for institute for academy so they can uh, have those uh, students brilliant students no system of uh, uh, campus interview so what we want to make we want to make sanskrit pandit we want to make ayurvedic doctor only we want to make ayurvedic clinician only because in this world master of all i am a master of none and jack of all is needed is needed when i entered to industry and i had a challenge of establishment of r and d department really only five numbers pharmacognosy pharmacology pharmaceutical chemistry only those five five numbers subject came into the picture and that was my syllabus of the life when i recited and when i uh, memorized 10000 shloka as per my father and those 10000 shloka in these 33 years only to impress others i am quoting those shloka because because no doubt principles are necessary no doubt language is necessary but the consumption because the market is of demand and consumption demand and supply whether we want to have that hospital administrators no we don't have we want to make them a uh, clinic administrator institute administrator right from the education the seeding should be there of these principles also apart from ayurvedic basic principles these are the basic principles of life of placement of development of promotion of progress we can't ignore them we can't ignore them in the life because there are no opportunity for every ayurvedic student that he can start our own clinic his own clinic because he has to serve number one number second what samprapti will do what basic principle will do because government has decided essential medicine list out of that 300 plus medicines are there but if a doctor ayurvedic doctor is appointed as ayurvedic medical officer in any dispensary please believe me no medicine beyond 70 age limit is available so what samprapti will do what treatment will do what chikitsa principle will do he has to manage all thousand of patients in those 70 medicines only please guide me on this point sir madan ji immediate uh, pavan ji immediate answer from me that even the 70 medicines may be available at the dispensary of government uh, are they being served you know they are being dug and put in the earth i will give so many examples also l1 and l2 sir l1 and l2 government is playing with the quantity quality of medicine lowest quotation in 9 rupees 50 paisa one bottle of 400 450 ml asa varish was quoted by a odisha company whether it is possible sir so we should we should learn quality control principles we should learn surveys also we should go to industry also to retailer also whether they are selling <coughs> expiry medicines also so all of this is required what development of ayurved it is my humble jagdishwar ji pavan ji pavan ji they are not practicing actually they are not practicing they are not well versed with systematic practice of ayurveda what i am telling you because this is the evidence given by the government doctor of yunani dr jagdishwar he himself told dr jagdishwar they are not giving medicine they are not dispensing just digging and putting the medicines in the earth this is going on i am not questioning the quality i am not 
put put forth in the presentation of purchase and what are going on in practice they are not at all well versed with the practice of ayurveda that Our that is ill principles and professor should be made responsible for this sir this that quality is, control check everywhere that, in every district that is different aspect pavan ji your point is all your points are very important very valid and uh, the the question is the ground reality needs something else and how to satisfy that har bachcho mein vasna nahi hai ji is type ke cheez ke liye to usko bhi dhyan rakhna ki kiske paas kya hai kiski who is interested in what that is also to be to be respected hamare sath hai ji uh, sunanda ji sunanda ji namaskar ji namaskar sir namaskar ji very happy to have you back with us today aap aaj kahan ho ji rajasthan mein ya wapas delhi mein aa gaye main abhi surat mein hu ab delhi jane wali hu acha ji very happy aaj ki program ke bare mein batao ji kahan galtiyan hamari kahan aage kahan le jane तो बहुत ज्यादा बड़ी बात हो जाएगी गलतियां कुछ नहीं बहुत अच्छा सब है लेकिन मैं अभी पवन जी का जो सुन रही थी मैं उससे बहुत सहमत हूँ क्योंकि हम लोगों ने इस चीज को फेस किया हुआ है अपने समय में हम लोग थे डिस्पेंसरी हॉस्पिटल्स में तो ये हम लोगों के पर लागू होता था कि भाई आप जो आपके पास लिस्ट है आप अधिकतर उसी में से सब दवाइयाँ दीजिए पेशेंट जो आता है बाहर के मत लीजिए जो लोग बाहर की कभी लिख दें पेशेंट को धक्के जरूरत हो तो उनको ये समझा जाता था शायद ये लोग कमीशन लेते हैं ये बाहर से करते हैं इस तरह का रहता था दूसरा ये था कि जो दवाइयाँ सप्लाई हो रही थी उनका कंजप्शन भी जरूरी है सप्लाई कैसे होगी तो बहुत से बंधन हो जाते थे पर ये नहीं कह सकते कि उनसे पेशेंट को आराम नहीं होता था लेकिन इतना सब सोचने का विचार में का समय नहीं होता था कि आप क्या दोष दाश तो इसकी संप्राप्ति करेंगे क्या निदान के लिए सोचेंगे इन्वेस्टिगेशन के लिए कोई लेके आया है आयुर्वेद से तो उससे ठीक है इसकी जनरल देखा उसको साथ में इसका और रिलेट किया भी हाँ ये ठीक हो सकता है क्या नहीं उसके आधार पे फिर ट्रीटमेंट कर दिया जाता था तो मैं इस चीज से सहमत हूँ कि कई बार हम लोग बहुत बंधन में होते हैं उस समय हाँ अपना क्षत करें शायद हम कुछ कर सकें अभी प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस में शायद हम इस चीज़ को ज़्यादा कर सकें या फिर ऐसा इंस्टीट्यूट हो कि जहाँ पे ना आप इस तरह की स्वतंत्रता हो कि आप इतना कर सकें अदरवाइज इस चीज़ों का बंधन बहुत होता है कि आप दवाइयों का कंजम्पन कीजिए पेशेंट नंबर बढ़ना चाहिए इंडोर पेशेंट बढ़ना चाहिए ये सब बहुत रहता है उसमें ये सब ज्यादा सोचना विचारना या उसको ज्यादा किस तरह करना वो संभव इतना नहीं हो पाता है लेकिन अब देखती हूँ कि सुनती हूँ जब तो अच्छा लगता है कि काफी लोग चिकित्सक हमारे चीज का ख्याल कर रहे हैं और इस आधार पर आयुर्वेद के आधार पर इसका रोज धातु की संप्राप्ति देखते हैं निदान उसका देखते हैं फिर उसका चिकित्सा लिखते हैं उनके जो गुण दोष है उसको देखते हुए फिर ट्रीटमेंट करते ऋतुचर्या का ध्यान करते हैं ये सब करते तो बहुत अच्छा लगा सुन के प्रोग्राम बहुत अच्छा है इसको आगे कंटिन्यू रखिए और आगे बढ़ाइए इसको सुनंदा जी मेरी तरफ से एक एक दो तो सवाल अब पवन जी शायद पवन जी सुनंदा जी की सर मेरे मेरी वो तक एक वो कंफ्यूजन एक है जिस डॉक्टर को हम आठ साल में पल्स रीडिंग नहीं सिखा पाते वो डॉक्टर पहला जाके यदि अपनी किसी भी टेबल पर बैठेगा आयुर्वेद के डॉक्टर की बात कर रहा हूँ वो सबसे पहले पल्स देखने का नाटक करे वो नहीं जानता पल्स कैसे देखना वो जब वही रिदम मालूम है टोन मालूम है नंबर मालूम है जो भी है लेकिन आयुर्वेद के हिसाब से बात पित कब की गति एक हाथ में पेन है एक हाथ में पल्स है सामने रोगियों की लाइन है तो भी आयुर्वेद वालों के लिए क्या ये ढोंग करना जरूरी है या या आयदर हम लोगों को पल्स ट्रीटमेंट पे राइट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ईयर फोर्स देना चाहिए बच्चों को कि वो पहले साल से पल्स रीडिंग का अभ्यास करें अदरवाइज ये सबसे बड़ा ढोंग हो गया सर एलोपैथिक डॉक्टर नहीं करता ऐसा एलोपैथिक डॉक्टर के आप पास में सामने बैठो वो ये भी दावा नहीं करता कि वो अंतर्यामी है हम आयुर्वेद के शोक पढ़ के आयुर्वेद की पल्स रीडिंग पढ़ के हम ये भी दावा करने लगे कि हम अंतर्यामी है प्लीज डोंट टॉक आई विल टेल यू आफ्टर रीडिंग योर पल्स क्या ये रिवाज सही है अदरवाइज मैं दो ही चीजें चाहता हूं कि बच्चों को पल्स रीडिंग शुरू से इन्वॉल्व किया जाए क्लिनिक में कली इन्वॉल्व किया जाए जो वो फोर्थ ईयर फिफ्थ ईयर में जाके करते हैं 
और फिर निकल जाते हैं रोड पे और नौकरी नहीं मिली तो सब भूल गए ये नहीं बस ये रिक्वेस्ट राजन जी आपके इसकी इसके बारे में लगता है आपके मन में कुछ है नहीं नहीं मन में कि जो उन्होंने कहा कि मैं मेरे पास आने वाले स्टूडेंट्स को यही कहता हूँ कि फर्स्ट ईयर से पेशेंट देखना शुरू करो तो इसका बहुत बड़ा बेनिफिट वो स्टूडेंट्स को जरूर मिलता है कि पेशेंट का पल्स वगैरह देखने की जो बात है वो जब भी फर्स्ट ईयर का लास्ट सेमिस्टर आएगा तो तभी करो शुरू पर पहले पेशेंट के साथ इंटरेक्ट करना क्योंकि आजकल जैसा अभी पवन जी ने कहा कि बहुत ही दुर्मिल चीज हो गई है कि डायरेक्ट जाकर के बैठते हैं डिस्पेंसरी में और जैसा उन्होंने कहा मैंने ये भी देखा है कि पल्स देखने का नाटक करके पेशेंट को कुछ ना कुछ बताते हैं तो दिस इज नॉट द प्रॉपर वे टू प्रोपोगेट आयुर्वेद क्योंकि इससे आयुर्वेद की बदनामी होने के भी चांसेस बहुत रहते हैं तो पवन जी ने एकदम एग्जैक्ट पिन पॉइंट मतलब ऐसा कहूंगा कि मर्म के ऊपर ही उंगली रख दी कि यस ये जरूर होना चाहिए फर्स्ट ईयर से ही प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज जो भी है वो अगर बच्चों को सिखाया जाए तो आयुर्वेद के तरफ भी लोग मतलब बच्चे आएंगे और वो अच्छे प्रैक्टिस करेंगे आयुर्वेद की ऐसा मेरा मानना है आलोक जी तो आपके हेड्स ऑफ टू यू आलोक जी भी आ गया आलोक जी बताओ जी बड़ा अच्छा संवाद शुरू हो गया और पवन जी और सुनंद जी दोनों ग्वालियर कॉलेज से हैं मैं आपको बता दू पवन जी नहीं जानते होंगे <laughs> इसलिए सुनंद जी को मैंने बुलाया था खास तौर से जो है देखिए हम लोग जब पवन जी हम नौकरी में रहते हैं सर्विस के अंदर रहते हैं तो पवन जी हम आपके सारे रूल्स जो आपने कहा सबसे बाउंड रहेंगे रियली हम उसको नहीं कर सकते बाईपास नहीं कर सकते हमें पेशेंट भी बढ़ाने हमें मेडिसिन कंज्यूम भी करनी है जो आया है वो अलग विषय है वो विवाद का विषय नहीं है अभी हमारा टॉपिक था कि हम कैसे आयुर्वेद को मॉडर्नाइज कर सकते हैं आयुर्वेद को मॉडर्नाइज कर सकते हैं वो विषय में फेस करना पड़ता जो हम पब्लिक में आते हैं हॉस्पिटल में बैठते हैं प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस करते हैं ये चीजें हमें जब अप्लाई करनी पड़ती है जहां हमारा कंपटीशन अपने सिस्टम से भी जहां हमारा कंपटीशन मॉडर्न सिस्टम से भी है जहां हमारा कंपटीशन और सिस्टम से भी है ये सब फाइट हमारी उस जगह होती है सरकारी डिस्पेंसरी में तो सर जो करना है सो करना है उसके बारे में मुझे कुछ नहीं कहना है वो विवाद का विषय नहीं है वो विज्ञान का विषय नहीं है रूल से बंधे हुए सुनंदा जी भी उसी सीट पे थी मैं भी उसी सीट पे से था जो परचेज मेडिसिन करी हमें वही कंज्यूम करानी है हमें टाइमली खत्म करवानी है सब बिल्कुल सही था आज से अगर छह साल पहले बोलता तो जो सुनंदा जी बोली जो पवन जी बोले मैं वही बोलता आज मैं इसलिए बोल रहा हूँ कि मैं हॉस्पिटल में बैठा हूँ प्रैक्टिस कर रहा हूँ इसलिए दोनों जगह का अंतर रहेगा धन्यवाद मुंशी जी मुंशी जी जुड़ गया हमारे साथ मुंशी जी नमस्कार नमस्कार सर मुंशी आई मिस इट मेजर पार्ट ऑफ दिस बिकॉज़ ऑफ अदर एंगेजमेंट्स तो मैं उसके लिए क्षमा चाहता हूँ मेरे ख्याल में जो जो हमारी नई पीढ़ी आ रही है दे आर मच मोर इंटेलिजेंट दे आर वेल रेड ऐसा नहीं है कि मतलब मैं मैं खुद कहता हूँ कि मैं भी उनसे सीखता हूँ लेकिन प्रॉब्लम एक जगह है कि दैट दे डोंट फॉलो द सीनियर्स मेन चीज ये है कि वेन पर्सन आप आईआईटी की बात ले लीजिए वहां पे जब ग्रेजुएशन के लिए के करके निकलता है वो कम से कम तीन चार साल किसी कंपनी में काम करके पूरा एक्सपर्टीज ले लेता है उसके बाद वो अपना कंसर्न खड़ा कर लेता है सो दैट थिंग इज टू बी फॉलोड बाय आवर यंगस्टर्स वो सीनियर के साथ जो एस्टेब्लिश प्रैक्टिशनर है उसके साथ तीन चार साल बैठ के और हमारे मतलब सीनियर्स को भी दिल बड़ा करना है कि उनको बिल्कुल सिखाना है तो वो वहां पर रह के तीन चार साल वो पूरा ज्ञान ले ले और उसके बाद इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी कि वो सौ पेशेंट दिन में देखे लेट हिम टेक गिव गिव द अपॉइंटमेंट दस पेशेंट और फीस उतना ही बढ़ा ले नथिंग डूइंग पीपल आर रेडी टू पे अब अब हमारे कंट्री में वो कंडीशन नहीं है दैट पीपल आर नॉट रेडी टू पे अगर किसी आदमी को फायदा मिल रहा है इज रेडी टू पे एनीथिंग लेकिन मसला ये है कि दैट ही शुड गेट बेटर uh, मतलब वो वो उसकी तरफ ध्यान देना उसको उसके साथ टाइम कंज्यूम करना लेट 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 अस नॉट टेक जस्ट टेन मिनट्स विद पेशेंट लेट इट बी हाफ एन आवर लेट इट बी फोर्टी मिनट्स एक पेशेंट को पूरा ध्यान से देख के उसको पूरा सेटिस्फाई ये, ये ये कहा गया है हमारे तिब में भी कहा गया कि पेशेंट जो है वो कम से कम फिफ्टी आपके टेबल पर ठीक होना चाहिए You have to give him counseling. लेकिन इसके लिए जो है मैंने वही कहा कि जो ग्रेजुएट निकल के निकलता है वो अपने आप को बहुत मतलब वो समझता है ऑल दो थेटिकली ही माइट बी राइट थेटिकली उसे हमसे ज्यादा ज्ञान होगा लेकिन प्रैक्टिकली वो हमारे बराबर मैं 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 ये कहता हूँ कि सीनियर इज सीनियर ऑलवेज 
उसने पूरा अपना वो वो जो अनुभव किया होता है उसने जो डिफरेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट्स किए होते हैं पेशेंट्स पे उसका जो वो चीज वो ज्ञान जो होता है जो प्रैक्टिकल ज्ञान होता है वो जूनियर्स में नहीं होता है तो उनको अपने आप को वो छोटा समझना कि ये सिंपल आयुर्वेदा ग्रेजुएट है मैं पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट हूँ पीएचडी हूँ उसके अंडर कैसे काम करूंगा तीन चार साल सो दीज थिंग्स आर टू बी ये जो जो वो जो हमारे पास नंबर वन एक इन्फ्रायरिटी कम्प्लेक्स है कि हम मॉडर्न के साथ बैठ के डिस्कस नहीं कर पा रहे हैं नंबर टू फिर हमारे अपने लोगों में ऐसी सुपीरियरिटी आ गई है कि नहीं ये सिंपल बी है तो मैं इसके साथ क्या बैठूंगा मैं पीएचडी करके बैठ आया हूं तो कैसे इसके साथ इसके अंडर में कैसे काम करूंगा सो दीज आर द थिंग्स विच विच क्रिएट हर्डल्स और उसके बाद जब वो मार्केट में आता है जिस तरह हमारे ड्रग्स है एनिमल स्टडीज में तो सारे प्लांट्स प्रूव करते हैं कि ये एंटी कैंसर है लेकिन जब मार्केट में लाते हैं तो दे प्रूव फेलियर तो यही चीज हमारे ग्रेजुएट्स के साथ होता है वो बहुत गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट होते हैं बहुत एफिशिएंट होते हैं बट दैट इज थेटिकली जब वो प्रैक्टिकल की प्रैक्टिकली मैदान में आते हैं दे प्रूव फेलियर सो इस तरीके के मैंने देखा है कि दैट आई जो भी होते हैं दे गो टू द कंपनीज दे वर्क देयर फॉर फोर फाइव ईयर्स गेन द एक्सपर्टीज और उसके बाद जब वो फील्ड में आते हैं दे प्रूव देम सेल्स मुंशी जी आपने करेक्ट वर्ड मैदान खिलाड़ी जब मैदान में आता है पूरा गोल हो जाता है कुछ नहीं अब एक चीज के बारे में बताना जी ये जो सुनंदा जी आलोक जी एंड राजन जी दे आर ऑल से इवन इन द फर्स्ट ईयर दे मस्ट गेट सम एक्सपोजर ठीक है ना जी दैट इज यू आर ऑल्सो एग्रीइंग विद दिस बट हाउ टू फिट दिस इन द करिकुलम दिस इश्यू ऑफ करिकुलम इज बींग इज बींग इज बींग रिव्यूड कैसे करें जी इसके अंदर कहाँ घुसवाए बेसिकली यूनानी में जो है फिलोसफी ऑफ यूनानी मेडिसिन फर्स्ट ईयर में ही पढ़ाया जाता है उसमें फिलोसफी आपकी सारी आती है बेसिक फंडामेंटल सब कुछ इखलात का उमूर तबिया हमारी उमूर तबिया एक बुक है उसमें सारे फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द यूनानी मेडिसिन जो है वो पहले ही पढ़ाया जाता है प्रैक्टिकल प्रैक्टिकल में तो उनको एक्सपोज नहीं किया जाता है बट थेटिकली दे आर बींग टॉक हमारे फर्स्ट ईयर में ही फलसफा मंतिक फलसफा फिलोसफी That fundamentals ये सारा फर्स्ट प्रॉफ में ही पढ़ाया जाता है अलॉन्ग विद लैंग्वेज और उसके बाद सेकेंड प्रॉफ में आपका एनाटोमी फिजोलॉजी ये 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 सिक्योरेंस जो रखा गया है दैट इज नॉट बैड पहले आपको अपनी फिलोसफी पढ़ाई जाती है उसके बाद मॉडर्न जो पढ़ाया जाता है एनाटोमी फिजोलॉजी उसके बाद आपको जो है मेडिसिन पढ़ाया जाता है आपको डायग्नोस्टिक्स पढ़ाया जाता है उसके बाद आपको क्लिनिक में भेजा जाता है बिकॉज यू यू कॉन्ट एक्सपेक्ट अ पर्सन हु इज नॉट नोइंग एनाटमी टू टू सी इन द फर्स्ट ईयर पेशेंट उसको एनाटमी नहीं पता है फिजोलॉजी नहीं पता है उसको सिर्फ ये पता है कि बेसिक फंडामेंटल्स क्या है हमारे पास मतलब फोर ह्यूमर्स हैं ह्यूमर्स के तरीके से कौन से ह्यूमर में कौन से कौन से सीजन में कौन सा ह्यूमर डोमिनेंट होता है कौन से सीजन में कौन सा ह्यूमर रिसेसिव होता है ये चीजें उसको थेरेटिकली मालूम है लेकिन जब तक वो एनाटमी फिजोलॉजी और पैथोलॉजी नहीं पढ़ेगा तब तक वो सीधे पेशेंट को देखेगा इट इज आई थिंक इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट इज इट वेयर विल यू अब in in where will you introduce this this must be for all ayush systems jo aapne jo bataya ki third year mein aayega pura sab kuch it must be for theoretically ayush first prof mein de dijiye theoretically theoretically aap first prof mein de dijiye second prof mein jo aap baaki practicals kara lete hain usme aap nafs ka bhi practical kara dijiye acha chalo first prof mein to theory hi hoga first prof mein kyunki aapko sanskrit bhi seekhna hai हिंदी भी सीखना है फिलोसफी भी सीखना है देन फंडामेंटल्स भी सीखना है सो फर्स्ट ईयर में हालांकि स्टूडेंट जब दाखला लेता है वो एंथ्यूजिक होता है कि मैं कमाऊ स्टूडेंट हूँ because when they come there we have to we have to take care of that we have to take we have not to expose the student directly to the uh, uh, laboratory where he will he will prove or uske baad usme wo aisa pressure aa jayega that he will prove fail let let us prepare him first for for the other step तो अदर स्टेप में जहां से जहां पे हम पैथोलॉजी का प्रैक्टिकल करा लेते हैं आपका एनाटॉमी का प्रैक्टिकल करा लेते हैं वहां पे आप फंडामेंटल्स का भी प्रैक्टिकल करा लीजिए नब्ज कैसे देखेंगे नब्ज में कैसे आप ये वो वो मतलब देर शुड बी अ स्पेशलिटी जिस तरह बाकी बाकी सब्जेक्ट्स में हर एक चीज का अपना अपना स्पेशलिटी है नब्ज का अलग स्पेशलिटी होना चाहिए उसके लिए अलग एम वाला पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट आ जाए वो उनको सिखाए कि कैसा है वो बिल्कुल ऐसा परफेक्ट होना चाहिए दैट दैट ही शुड बी रियली फेस ऑल द चैलेंजेस क्योंकि यंग जनरेशन बहुत चैलेंजिंग होते हैं वो एंथ्यूजिक होते हैं वो आपको क्वेश्चन की भरमार करता है एंड पर्सन शुड बी वेल रेडी टू नॉलेजेबल जो उनको फेस भी कर सकता है बाद में thank you because because we have the people in the bams who miss mbbs by 
फ्रैक्शन ऑफ मार्क्स सो यू कैन सी हाउ 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 थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग पहले ये होता था प्री आयुर्वेदा किया जाता था प्री त्रिप किया जाता था वो संस्कृत या पाठशाला से आते थे उनका वैसा ही माइंड सेटअप होता था लेकिन अब ये होता है कि इसका बिल्कुल फोकस होता है एमबीबीएस का और बेचारा लैंड करता है आयुर्वेदा में तो ही इज वेरी मच वेल प्रपेयर्ड कि मुझे क्या करना है तो उसको थोड़ा सा डायरेक्शन देना है उसको सिर्फ मोल्ड करना है जिस तरह हम मोल्ड कर लेते हैं डायमंड को थोड़ा सा घिसाते हैं फिर वो अच्छा शाइनी बनता है दैट इज दैट इज हाउ वी कैन डू यूनिश जी आपके जो यूनानी की तरफ जो अच्छे आते हैं बच्चे डू दे आल्सो हैव द सेम प्रॉब्लम कि मेडिसिन दे वांट इट इज योर इट इज योर सेम प्रॉब्लम इट इज द सेकंड चॉइस इट इज द सेकंड चॉइस इट इज नॉट फर्स्ट चॉइस दिस इज अ अनफॉर्चूनेट थिंग इट्स कॉल्ड आई थिंक This is a very We unfortunate. We must not say unfortunate because people are lured towards the. Today's materialistic world is made. The MBBS says he earns a lot as compared to Arab and Yunani. This is this is. Although it is not like that, we have seen this also. In this forum, there are people who have prepared valleys. That is, your knowledge city, Kerala, Calicut, which is being made by one person. That is also BMS MD. और उसने इतना एक अंपायर खड़ा कर दिया है या हमदर्द का जो था हकीम अब्दुल हमीद और हकीम सईद दोनों भाई जो थे एक कराची में हमदर्द एस्टेब्लिश किया एक दिल्ली में हमदर्द एस्टेब्लिश किया सो दे वर आल्सो बियॉन्ड दे दे मैनेज्ड द थिंग्स हाउ हाउ दे क्रिएट स्मॉल एक शॉप से खड़े हो के पूरी यूनिवर्सिटी बना ली है लेकिन हमारे जो एंथुसियाज्म ये है कि हमें आज के आज ही हमारा हॉस्पिटल भी बनना चाहिए आज के आज ही हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी भी बननी चाहिए और दिस थिंग्स और यहां से हमारे पास जो एनआरआईज आते हैं वो बड़े-बड़े हॉस्पिटल बनाते हैं तो हमारे लोग भी थोड़ा सा उत्सुक हो जाते हैं भाई इनके इन्होंने इतना बना लिया तो हम इतना नहीं बना सकते बिकॉज़ इट इज इट इज बट नेचुरल इट इज अ ह्यूमन नेचर के वो कॉम्पिटिटिव ज़हन ये इस वजह से डिप्रेशन भी हो जाता है इसी वजह से हमारे लोग जो है ड्यू टू दैट डिप्रेशन ड्यू टू दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स दे प्रूव फेलियर इन द इन द लॉन्ग रन ये ये चीजें होती हैं University, what you are touching on is some of those sociological aspects of this area. The, the basics, sociology, जो है ये basics है. जब तक हम socially, हम तो मतलब we are we are we are dealing with the medicine, जो जो holistic approach है. अगर हम holistic approach academia में भी रखेंगे, I think we will be successful. I think this is a this is a very important point of modernizing this this psychology there, you know. And इसकी तरफ भी थोड़ा I don't call it. We have it to so read psychology of the present generation. Yes. We are not dealing with uh, Patankar ji, who is age old. So, unko samjh mein aaya hai, unko thoda sa batana hai. You are dealing with the people who 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 wish to be a rocket science scientists, who wish to be science space scientists, who wish to be who uh, Newton ko bhi piche chhodna chahte hain. You are dealing with those people. So, आपको उनकी साइकोलॉजी पहले समझनी है उसके बाद अपना इन्फ्लुएंस डालना है और वो भी धीमे धीरे धीरे ताकि सो सो दैट दे कैन दे कैन गेट अकेमुलेटेड टू द एनवायरनमेंट यूनिस जी आज की चर्चा में जो निकल रहा जो रामदास जी व्हाट ही इज आल्सो सेइंग इज दैट दिस ऑलरेडी हैज द रॉकेट साइंस क्वालिटी जो इफ यू गो इनटू एनी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ आयुष सिस्टम इट्स ऑलरेडी हैज दैट रॉकेट साइंस क्वालिटी इसके अंदर है चीज But we are not so, able to bring it out. जो कुछ डेवलप हुआ वो तो इसी से डेवलप हुआ. बिल्कुल जी बिल्कुल. The same so thing is... has been refined. We are getting what is refined. हम आटा पहले चक्की में पीसते थे अब मशीन से पीस के आता है. और पैक पैक जरा अच्छा खासा पैकिंग होती है और हमारे पास आशीर्वाद आटा आता है या दूसरे आटे आते हैं वो तो वही है. Basic thing is that. और बेसिक यही है यहीं से तो नॉलेज खड़ी हुई है. It is the Indian knowledge. It is the knowledge from Egypt. It is the knowledge from the India. बेसिकली क्या हो, हुआ जैसे आप मैंने पहले भी इसी फॉर्म में कहा है कि दैट द नॉलेज वाज बेस्टोड टू द पीपल हु आर क्लोज टू ईश्वर लेट इट बी हनुमान जी हु गॉट संजीवनी बूटी लेट इट बी डेविड वी कॉल हिम हजरत दाऊद हु प्रिपेयर्ड द हु वाज गिवन द नॉलेज ऑफ द आयरन ओर एंड हाउ टू मेक द आयरन लेट इट बी नोहा हु प्रिपेयर्ड द बोट एंड देन दैट नॉलेज वाज देन वो उसी को रिफाइन करके जो स्कॉलर्स आए उन्होंने फिर बोर्ड को शिप बना लिया तो बेसिक तो वही है बेसिक तो बोर्ड ही है आयरन ओर तो वही है बट अब अब जो आयरन को बनते हैं एरोप्लेन बनते हैं उस तो उस टाइम पे सिर्फ स्वर्स बनते थे क्योंकि जंग में वही काम आता था तो बेसिक यही है नॉलेज यहीं से खड़ी हुई है ये ये जो ईश्वर की तरफ से अपने 
जो उनके खास लोग होते थे जैसे मतलब जिनको आप भगवान कहते हैं काल प्रॉफिट्स उनको नॉलेज दी जाती थी उसको फिर जो आ, आगे के स्कॉलर्स होते थे वो उसको रिफाइन करते थे तो बेसिक नॉलेज वही है हमारे पास संजीवनी बूटी आ गई और नुहा के पास बोट आ गई यूनिसी एक चीज वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस इज अ डिस्कशन दैट इज गॉन ऑन फॉर सम टाइम और हमारी डिस्कशन में देयर इज वन पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू मेक द एलिट ग्रुप ऑफ आयुष दैट मींस वी नीड जैसे बच्चे दे गो टू आईआईटी कि हमारी स्कोर आ गया जी फर्स्ट 100 200 दैट how to bring that here to make the elite group in our system so one thought uh, uh, kishor patwardhan ji who is in bhu professor of um, uh, kriya sharir what he is saying is let us think about an integrated program md ms phd program theek hai na ji ab isme 12 saal ka program 12 saal matlab you have to learn everything you have to learn ayurveda you have to learn unani you have to learn siddha you have to learn yoga you have to learn naturopathy you the curriculum will be designed this way theek hai it is a very intense program bara saal mein kya milenge aapko you will get bms sorry you will get a md ms phd sara kuch mila ke and we don't want we want students who can who have the enthusiasm and the stamina for this program you know यहाँ पे कैम्ब्रिज में जी एक प्रोग्राम है एम बी पी एच डी करके अब इसमें इट इज ए टेन ईयर प्रोग्राम एंड इट्स वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट प्रोग्राम इन दिस यूनिवर्सिटी इसमें पहले तीन साल जो बच्चे आते हैं दे अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द बेसिक साइंसेस द बेसिक साइंस फिजियोलॉजी बायोकेमिस्ट्री एज सून एज द थ्री ईयर्स इज फिनिश दे आर पुश्ड इन टू अ रिसर्च लैब तीन साल के लिए अ कंप्लीट ट्रांसिशन फ्रॉम वन डे टू द नेक्स्ट डे दे गो स्ट्रेट इन टू अ रिसर्च लैब तीन साल में पीएचडी का काम होनी चाहिए पूरा थीसिस भी लिखना है सब कुछ रिसर्च और उसके बाद तीन साल वापस आओ क्लिनिकल काम के लिए इट इज द मोस्ट इंटेंस प्रोग्राम तो हमारी सोच में वी वर सेइंग लेट अस हैव अ प्रोग्राम सपोज अ स्टूडेंट कैन नॉट स्टैंड द कंप्लीट 12 इयर्स देयर इज अ एस्केप रूट ठीक है एमबीबीएस लेके जाओ और बीएमएस बी यू कैन लीव आफ्टर दैट यू नो बट इफ यू हैव टू स्टे इन दिस प्रोग्राम and become that elite group you know jaise commando banta hai ji us type ka wo le aani hai iske andar ki we want the best we want people who understand all these systems you will do a phd also you will get your md also but you have to you know the first 6 years will be just like studying everything and i think it is coming to that point where something like that has to be done jo elite group you know the commando group you know this is our elite group hmm? Mother, they understand I'll, everything i'll i'll add, add here since uh, now who has uh, abhi uh, wo kuch din se hi news chal rahi hai that world health organization has star, is ready to establish a center for traditional medicine over here so that means we have to become the leaders we have Absolutely. to lead the world we have to lead the world and naturally our stuff should be such who can lead the world mm. who will be world who who can who can give direction to the world Good. world already is changing you you can you can see yourself what happened in ukraine what happened in other Good. world already is changing now now the some 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 countries are getting totally neglected it is the, it is the knowledge which will come forward absolutely we are we are going back to that jo jiske paas knowledge hai uske paas power so since we have the basics we have jiske liye globe pura 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 world tars raha hai traditional knowledge we are full of that we are full of that तो उसका जो अवर अवर गवर्नमेंट अवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज टोटली बैकिंग अस ऐसा नहीं है कि बैक सपोर्ट नहीं है वो इज इज टोटली बैकिंग द आई सिस्टम बिकॉज ही उनको भी समझ आ गया है कि वी कैन एक्सेल ओनली इन अवर ट्रेडिशनल हम यूरोप को नकल करके एक्सेल नहीं कर पाएंगे डेफिनेटली नॉट बिकॉज दे आर बेटर इन दैट दैट फील्ड वी आर बेटर इन अवर फील्ड वी कैन एक्सेल इन दैट एंड ग्लोब इज वेटिंग फॉर दैट I feel traditional diet, aapka traditional medicine, aapka traditional culture, sab kuch sara world adopt karne ke liye tayar hai, kyunki they 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 are fed up with these these chemicals and other things. So, uh, you know, see, Mary, man, me, yar, ki next generation we will have a small group of students who will be fluent in Farsi, Arabic, Sanskritam, Tamil, and will be fluent. There is no difficulty. They cannot. 
they can, these young students, if they're guided correctly, they can do it. I feel it should we be. have. It should be. It should be. Every student, every traditional medical practitioner should be well versed with Arabic, Sanskrit, Hindi, Persian, Urdu. So that he can gather. Abhi hum, main Charak Samita mangaya to English mein mangaliya, aapne diya. Main Sushrat Samita mangaya, dousre se, wo bhi English mein aagaya. Mera apne, apne books hain, wo bhi main English mein gather kar raha hoon. Instead of that, if I would have been well versed in Sanskrit, Hindi, Urdu, Persian and Arabic, mujhe koi problem hii nahi thi because literature is available. Lot of literature is available which is yet to be translated. Exactly. We will get so, to that. I, I, I hope that we can encourage that thinking also. Keep agile paanch das saal mein ek naya soch le aai iske andar. Naya soch matlab, thika, we, we are going to lead the world in aspects of healthcare, future healthcare. Or uske liye we need people who are comfortable with this, who are going to be the future leaders, who are going to be comfortable with all these systems of medicine. Ab Ayurved, man, lo, if I go to an Ayurveda college and they say, talk about Avicenna, I don't know how many students will be able to tell you about Avicenna. Sure. And vice versa, if I come to Tibia College, of course, is different. But if I come to some other Unani college and say, you know, what is Shushul uh, Samitar ke andar kya hai, Nobody they will not. Nobody. They will not, they will be at a loss. Although we have history of medicine, we have Hindi, Tib, Bobbali, Tib, Baki, Jobi, Jobi medicine practice, who I have from, from uh, Hippocrates onwards. We have a history of medicine, but we don't know Sanskrit, Hindi, as, as our country this time has excelled in IT. US, US may Jobi top IT, IT companies that they are being headed by our Indian, Indian people. So in the same way, we can we can we can tackle this situation also. This Whatever. is all. This is all yeah. central to this theme. Today's theme of modernizing Ayush. Pavanji ne pakat kar rakha ki pura Ayush ki modernization hone chahiye, you know. And I feel the modernization of Ayush. We are already uh, modernized. Modernization of Ayush ka nahi hai, but hume Ayush modern ko Ayush se repeat na hai. Sure. Modern ke upar Ayush ka paint chadana hai. Ayush pe modern ka paint nahi chadana hai. Sabash, samajh gaya. Hame modern pe Ayush ka paint chadana hai. Sabash. I'm so, so happy that... Jo bhi river flow karega, wo through Ayush jayega, to usme Ayush mix ho jayega. Aisa nahi hai ki Ayush hi modern ke through chalega, aur phir wo modern hi niklega baan. No, no, no. Aisa nahi hona chahiye. We so have bash, to, be, is... we have to uh, be, be to our basics. Hame I think Jayesh... Jayesh ji used a very nice word. Jayesh ji hai amare saath. He used a word called syncing, synchronizing. You know, everything needs to be synchronized and everything needs to go hand in hand here. I, we are very fortunate that we could extend this discussion till this, uh, this point. I, the floor is still open. I think Alok ji ki hat, I think this might be an old race hand, Alok ji. If Alok ji is... Uh, if that is an old raised hand, then uh, Muttapaji, thank you very much for sharing your insights about the uh, Panchavayus. And uh, Shantalaji, thank you for staying with us today. Your wonderful comments we are following on the chat box. Thank you for this. Uh, if uh, we have one more person, Ramadasji, would you like to comment a little bit before we give the floor back to Pavanji? Ramadasji. Enough, sir. Enough, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We, you have yes, you sir. have inspired us again today, and I think Ramdas ji, my feeling is that because we have Shantala ji, who's also a MA in Sanskrit, I think there is a lot of resonance here in terms of how we can take your reasoning and your thinking about the clarifying the concepts, and that is very important. That that where we can make it independent of the language, but understanding the concepts. This is very, very, you have touched a very important point here. And uh, thank you for staying with us. We are, the, we are still just under 20 people here on the platform, so which means the discussion is still adding uh, some value to people who are here with us. So I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody who's who've been here some very very important points 
And Munshi ji, uh, thank you for... Munshi ji, I have a question, one or two questions. Did you study Yunani in Jammu or did you study in Tibia College or Aligarh or Lucknow? I don't know where you studied. I studied in Hyderabad. Uh, Sabash, Hyderabad. Sabash. Then I completed my PG in Hamdard. In Hamdard. Uh, Hamdard is in, is in uh, Delhi. 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 Thank you. You are a guide for us in many, many areas. And I, I'm I, still a student. I think I, I, I am still learning from a junior. No, because when you are when you are with us, you prompt us to look at the Unani. Uh, uh, the website I always go to is the National Health Portal, and that is a very well valuable, very well written website. Now, there, is Aish Aish portal also. there is Aish Portal where all the uh, Joby publications and they are all available on Aish Portal. They they have separated from health health uh, national health portal. This morning, I was with our uh, Dr. Salam in uh, Marcus, and there's a good discussion going on there to bring acupuncture also into their uh, Marcus Knowledge City work. And I feel some of those areas where there is specializations in Yunani needs to be brought out a little more. Geriatrics, Kyopar, Aplonki, Jo Samaj. It is a very valuable thing. You know? Yes, you had just shared that. Uh, yes, that link there. And these yes. are things which is important for the whole world, and particularly here in Europe, where well, uh, when we as, as I told you that Yunani is the integration of all the traditional medicines. That is how this has been uh, evolved. That there is um, there is some something from Ayurveda, something from um, Chinese medicine, something from Egyptian medicine. That is how they, that has even even headache. If you will see headache is having so many types. You can you can see a book on that simple headache mm -hmm. so there 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 is a lot of literature which we even we we don't know how, how to how to get benefit from that there are a lot of things uh, where, where where they have uh, they have elaborated so much that we 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 can't imagine this time you you know we have uh, lavendula we are using in 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 uh, other parts of the country we use lavendula as stokodus but in Kashmir, we use Prinula. Mm -hmm. How that Hakim was knowing that Prinula is having same efficacy Therapy as the uh, Levendula of uh, planes. Mm -hmm. And after the chemistry, chemical, uh, this analysis was done and it was found same. same. So you can see how their brain was working. Well, we, our challenge... Our challenge is to see how to nurture and grow more of those brains you know those young people we have to be identified and we need to <clears throat> we need to bring them out uh, i hope but rajanji will bring uh, from uh, mumbai zubair zubair ji zubair sheikh ji i hope uh, rajanji agle bar zubair ji ko bhi le aana platform zubair ji is very important for us um, agle bar just to uh, along with our community it will be lovely to have these people now we are i think we are we still have people uh, if there are no more contributions from the floor then madanji 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 namaskar it will be little narration in the background i'll give because though you have not referred i am still waiting there are um, controversial charts in the chat uh, boxes uh, which could not be clarified and nobody I think that can clarify. I will give vivid outlook of the clarification. Please. How Siddha and Ayurveda became different mm -hmm. and they have made their one became to south and another became another rest in north. Like that it is going on. Actually, mm -hmm. the background of these two therapies was right from Sadashiva only. Sadashiva only. Because he is called Vaidyanatha. Vaidyanatha. Mm -hmm. And he was authority of Rasas and Pashanas mm -hmm. and all these things. Whereas Siddha practices much with Pash uh, poisons, Rasas and Pashanas. And Ayurveda totally, total, I don't say totally, but much on herbal and mineral side. And why Ayurveda is denomination? It is related to Aryan culture. 
and there are siddha practices to tantric culture mm-hmm. and this tantric culture people even till to this day to why they have made ground in tamil nadu because south tamil nadu is of tantric culture mm-hmm. for this also i will give one another reference that uh, kashi raja chitrasen married a lady who is referred as a rakshasi stri her name was madalasa her name was madalasa it goes very long back to description give uh, much story about the Ch- uh, chitrasen uh, i need not go that madalasa was from south and likely it was called madrasa very recently i found in uh, uh, madras is uh, uh, renamed as chennapatnam previously it was uh, the denomination of the english people that Ma- madrasa patnam actually what was the background of madras also is not known to history of these people and likely it vanished and why ayurveda is back benched you know uh, uh, to the modern medicine i am giving the uh, clarification previous practice in, in previous days very very long back after sadashiva even before that or uh, later aryans were not touching non aryans and at the same time these pashanas are well effective even to the surgical cases but surgery was uh, in the practice of aryans that is why shushruta is an aryan not in not in on aryan and aryan people while they were not touching non aryan and they were not even doing surgery on non aryan also likely they have failed the surgery failed in ayurveda that has that is why it has not become popular because how modern science came into very popularity due to surgery only one reason another reason christianity carried modern medicine to populace actually serving the medicines along with the preaching this is much that is why how ayurveda is pressed down to the uh, down to the earth not below the ground not below the ground how it is being pushed it is not known and how even after even after conquering of sadashiva an aryan aryan practice and he was being called vaidyanath who had been named as vaidyanath tell me in any aryan personality nothing daksha was also daksha was also aryan king and after that how the history of ayurveda is also taught now the subject of history is deleted from the course of bms ayurveda charitra it is deleted what i heard because my baby while studying it was taught but now it is and one another thing whether ramdas ji is there i don't know if he if he is there actually if he is there i congratulate 100 times him because to learn a science the basic language should be learned perfectly and for that also i will give one another clarification do you call prakriti in english terminology nature it is normal in english literature, literature prakriti means nature go to the literature of ananda murti he said the style of the expression of prakriti is called nature there is no synonym to prakriti in english literature the style of expression is called nature but there is no synonym in english terminology to prakriti so many things are there so many things are there which are not having synonyms in english literature i say that ramdas ji will be congratulated and put above all this discussions also he should feel glad that in a near future the scientists are the technologists are trying to um, uh, that uh, that means uh, um bring out a software in a sanskrit which can command all the languages of the world because it has got 